They're spending all this time trying to hunt down TJ. Instead of going to the actual hill, there's nowhere for them to go. A devastating 3-0. Paris gets smoked. Oh my God. Oh, bro, shit. Shit. Holy yeah. hell. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It might yeah. just come down to scump. Somebody has to make the play. Time's starting to dwindle. There goes scump as well. And it will be the ultra. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What are you talking about, baby? He does get the angle. Tom is planted for him. Almost playing first position, cannot win the 1v1! Yo, go, go, my my God, boys. Go. Go. Ah, let's go. Can they do it here? Can they close this out? They're gonna locate Clayso on the A Street. Last player is gonna be Diamond Con. Trying to do everything that he can, but the Thieves! The Thieves are gonna 3-0 New York. Oh, hey, Oh my god. Rocker knew they were playing 2A. They just wanted to take it and there's a Oh no, no Priest! No! Oh, oh no, no. teammates! There's the first. The trade is there though. Krim back alley does it in Empire. They take it. Six, five. Good job. Oh, nice. Good job. Good job. Dude. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Good job, <laughs> Scuff is just holding, Scuff is just holding, wins the fight. Accuracy, though, they line up. They line up for accuracy, and he wins it. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. bro! Oh, my God. Oh, my Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is finally time for the Call of Duty League Major 2 Finals brought to you by Game Fuel. Oh boy, what a day this has been. What a day, what a week. What an incredible tournament this truly has been. I cannot believe we've got here Ultra, the true kings of the North for now, taking on, of course, the Giants, the Titans, Atlanta phase. This is sure to be something. We'll go with something for now because, again, there's a lot of expectations out in the air and I've got no idea which one to snag myself onto. My name is Miles Ross. His name is Chance. Bro, how you doing? This is nuts. Uh Dude, I I'm doing great. I'm excited for this finals. Like, we talked last night over what every single team needs to do to beat FaZe. We looked at it for Toronto. We were like, it just needs to be the slang power, and we're looking at the SMGs to step it up. And I tell you, Toronto has stepped it up today on Sunday. They have been frying, and at least from what I've seen so far, I think they're in pretty good shape to try to take it to FaZe. Well, they are in pretty good shape right now. Can they keep that going? One of the players we're going to keep a very keen eye on throughout the day, of course, it is going to be our Game Fuel featured player, Cami of Toronto Ultra. He was pivotal, crucial in getting his squad here today. The plays were out of, out of control, Chance. I mean, he had a fantastic individual run. And again, the whole team looking fantastic. Some of those kills on your screen now. What should we be looking out for again, again for Cami in this grand final? I mean, he's been godlike. He has genuinely been Mr. Do-It-All, right? Performing in Surge. He's picking up 74 U's off the ground, looking like a phenomenal SMG player at times, but always hyper aware, almost always making the correct play. Cami, when he is on point, I mean, dude, he is a freak of nature, and well, he needs that as well. Stage two, he's been on point. He has had himself a fantastic year, and well, he just can't afford to slow down, man. He's been on a tear all day today. Gotta keep that momentum going, and frankly, just keep the smile on your face you know he's feeling good right yeah, now he's got to be feeling fantastic right now of course looking at social media a lot of love flow in the way for cameron mcgilligan there ladies and gentlemen though you know what we're going to do we're going to introduce these teams you know them you love them and i'm sure a lot of you are rooting for them in this grand final it's toronto ultra Toronto Ultra defying expectations and making it to this final for Cami, Kleenex, Insight, and Bance. 
The Cinderella story continues. The slipper fits. She's going to the ball, but will she make it home before the clock strikes 12? That's the question. Chance for their opponents, though, Atlanta Faze. Of course, the reigning champions coming into this major. The team that, quite frankly, everyone wants to see fail and everyone is gunning to try to beat. Do you think Ultra even have a chance? I mean, if we're being perfectly honest, I, I think FaZe, like if you're looking at those guys in a best of five, you look at certain maps and you're thinking there's hope, you turn this into a best of nine, that means you have to play them on basically every single map in the game. And I'm looking at FaZe's lineup. They have one map out of 13 that they have a negative record on. And well, frankly, if they want, they can just ban that and get it out of the way. Outside of that, they have been absurd, the final boss. And of course, for any team that's expecting to get into the finals, you know you're going to be meeting FaZe there. You know this is the team to beat. This is indeed the team to beat. Now it is time to meet their opponents in the red corner, the living weapons, the living legends themselves, Atlanta FaZe. Atlanta, Georgia, you magnificent beast, you. This is 2021, baby. And the 2021 Atlanta face are stacked. We got us a member of the Scuff Team of the Year by the name of Simp. Grabs the bomb, 10 seconds left, and he realizes he can't get to the other side. The other battle-hardened returnees are Abisi and Selium. Fall away, Selium! No, he's not even shot down! Abisi doesn't even need to go fence! Our cities is here. Can he get the angle over the top? He gets the kill! Arsenies with the 1v2 clutch! Atlanta phase. Seemingly indomitable Atlanta phase again. They have come into this, the favorites. They are now in the grand finals. And Bar, I mean, I think the team that pushed them the furthest, what? Maybe Ultra Empire at times, the winners' finals of RST selling the VZ and Sim. They are truly starting to cement themselves into the pantheon of Call of Duty legends. And this major them arguably another milestone in that long journey chance they have weaknesses they will fail can they like is ultra gonna be able to draw blood from them today i think they will i mean you brought you brought them in, in mistakes like maps they're not necessarily strong on there's very few of them mate very few of them when we see the maps and mows the picks and bands oh baby there we go raid is basically eliminated walk us through the maps and mows well, I mean, if we paid attention to the last series, we know how much <laughs> Toronto loves raids, so getting that out of the way is nice. The one advantage Toronto actually had coming into the series has been the search and destroy, and it has been because of raid. They're 2-0 against FaZe on that map, so FaZe got rid of it. Now, what that means, of course, though, is FaZe Express S&D now is going to get in the mix. Checkmate S&D if we get to that ninth map is in the mix, and those are two maps that either FaZe have not had success on, right? A 1-3 record on Express, and for Checkmate, they genuinely just don't like playing it it has basically been their auto veto almost all year long so a sacrifice had to be made right toronto has shown enough on certain maps that phase is having to make these adjustments but of course that is at the tail end of this series we got a long way to go before we get there a long way to go indeed again this best of nine is very much a marathon not a sprint as you would imagine for atlanta phase looking at speed run this time trial it ah, toronto ultra the current form they're in if they can keep up the momentum they've so well brought against their opponents to get here. That series against Dallas, whew, that was a screamer. If they can keep it going, Chance, who knows where this grand finals will take us. But we are off. Our Toronto Ultra in the white. You've got Atlanta Faze in the red. Let's do this. Toronto, they've had the hot hand. They've been playing all day, and they need to play their absolute best Call of Duty of the year in this series. And while well, we're talking about Garrison, opening breaks are always going to be matter. And just like that, to kick it off, phase, get that four down, get them pinned back in their spawn. And Wella Beasy starts off 3 0. And again, if you start letting these players get hot, it might get out of control real quick. 4-0 already for the young man. Yeah, that's going to be 4-0 for Abizi. Straight off the rip. Not a bad start whatsoever. Now Ultra is going to be on the rebound, trying to make their way forward. Abizi 5, Abizi 6. Okay, I promised myself I would try to pace it. It's going to be a long day. But with Abizi doing things like that, it's hard not to. What a wonderful start right now for Atlanta Phase. Not a tremendous surprise, I think, chance for a lot of fans here. They are touted as the absolute champions of this tournament, but we are not going to keep singing that story. It's Ultra. Really yet to go to the point. Starting to mount the attack now. The second hard point already up and about, and it's going to be Simp in control of that one, but opening break goes the way of phase. Opening time goes the way of phase. Opening kills goes the way of phase. 
And well, you see Toronto, they're just trying to make this pinch happen, right? You got Cammy waiting through top green, but all his teammates are going to fall. He looks for the push out of green, but Simp is there, and Simp picks up the two big kills. If you remember, Miles, last time we saw FaZe play on this map, I think the thing that stood out was how perfect their gameplay was. Very controlled, every rotation on point, and making sure their setups are clean. Well, we've seen the exact same thing once again. Abizi starts out 9-2. Simp just goes to the point and is chilling on the rotation, oh, and you no. try to flood out of green. You're just going to get dropped a bz 11 and 2 to start out map number one we had a bit of time there with of course cami our game fuel featured player and didn't have a whole lot of success you see how difficult it is to try to break this hard point it's a couple of kills that are going to go the way of phase for now but it has been a real good hold on first and second they chain those two points together they're not necessarily going to be able to chain these two here back on board with cami our game fuel featured player does have spawns controlled down for the right hand side of the map the third hard point they're on garrison shots Tough start already for Ultra, but this is an opportunity to now pull it back. Yeah, talk about needing the full 60 advance. Maybe he's able to make the play. He actually hid underneath green, is able to pick up two big kills. But you see FaZe, they're just trying to leave him, trying to pressure out those spawns and try to make Bans useless. But Candy on the defensive end can only find one kill. And Kleenex all of a sudden by himself in the points of FaZe. They took their time. They left Bans in the dust. They flipped the spawns. They get the break. And again, just to talk about that perfect garrison call of duty, well, they got the 70 point lead. They break into the money hill, and frankly, for FaZe, I don't expect them to lose control. Yeah, well, the only control they really lose is when they throw it themselves right now. Unfortunate self destruction there from Celium, but still, we are going to still see Atlanta FaZe reap the rewards. 15 seconds remaining on this hard point. Min map presence basically all the way of Ultra. But how long will they be able to hold it for? We've seen FaZe on the brakes very, very clinical. You can see two players making their way through that green side of the map. It's on an insight here in center of this map. That top catwalk position trying to cut these players down, John. I cut them down, but I'm just looking at the scoreboard right now, Miles, and I'm just reminded of these teams that face off each other quite a few times throughout this year. FaZe has not dropped a single respawn to Toronto Ultra. They are 8-0 in both hard points and control. And, well, you can see an example as to why the breaks are usually green. This time, though, Cammy able to find at least one. You get a BZ taken down from underground. And you make sure you keep those spawns, keep that green control. Maybe get a little bit of the hill time. But, frankly, again, just the slaying power. Obviously, for Toronto, they oh, no. need to kick it up massively. So, preferably, don't need your teammates. Well, somehow, it was all good just on the other side of that AC unit. So, insight still from... Top cat, nice big win on Asties there. Simp's gonna be up next. Pistol's out. But I will say, Simp, not a player you're gonna be tangling with one on one. Hardpoint finding gets broken open there, and it's gonna be Atlanta phase of control for a brief moment before Cami gets back onto the point. Again, our featured player here trying to battle his way out of the negative KD department. And again, Toronto Ultra, slow start for them, but they are slowly but surely clawing this one back. They still have map control for now. Again, left hand side of the map. Next hardpoint pops wide open. P5 now. Gonna be ants on your screen. Locking down that top green position, trying to stop the approach now from FaZe. Blinded for the time being. Here comes Celian. Cut down from behind once again. It's gonna be the leading kills there from Sim as chance. They are flying forward. Arsty's now spawns in the backside. It's only gonna be insight with eyes on them. And right now, Toronto just trying to cause problems, right? They were able to take out Sim from the top side of the map and FaZe, well, not really spawn trap because they have some of that pressure through lights, but I think it'd be easy to be happy to be in this situation. He's just playing, looking for some kills. There's a gunfight win against Kleenex. And again, as long as you're able to stay alive and avoid getting trapped in your base, FaZe will not be too mad at this setup, but even still, maybe on the flip side for Toronto, you're keeping them out of the point. I mean, you took what? They were down by 80, 90 points. They at least closed the gap through the first set of rotations. Maybe get a bit of wind in their sails as they're trying to set up for new. Yeah, they're slowly but surely putting this one back. Final few seconds going to go the way of the phase. Wins from Bans, immediate trades from Atlanta as expected. And the communication has been as crisp as you like. Second set of hard points now wide open. We're going to see Kleenex try to defend this one. He and the boys locking down that time. Insight looking towards lights. Kleenex covering his back. Here comes the push forward from FaZe. Stellium goes forward, gets traded out immediately. Ultra still hold the point for now. Abizi on the slow flank through vents. Another big win there from Kleenex. He's had a stellar series so far all the way through. But Abizi 20 and 11. Every single time he's on our screen, he's doing obscene things. Chance, the man is unstoppable. And it really is just too easy for a BZ, right? Just goes on the little vent or <laughs> the flank through vents, picks up a big two, and just like that, any momentum might get stuffed and sell him. Everyone's running out of ammo. <laughs> picks up at least one kill on the rotation, but Cami is there for the cleanup. But now for Cami, I mean, the pressure's on. Phase, they're just going to fly out of the green, but he's able to find the next two big kills. The featured player for a reason, trying to lock it down for P2. And keep in mind, the state of the game right now, it's about a 70 or 80 point game, but a full 60 here could 
turn the story around for Toronto. Yeah, and this is a hard point that you typically do manage to land those full 60s on. It has to be perfect, though, from Ultra. Bans looking down the, back the brick side of the map. He's going to land a couple of kills. The is now in trouble. Kleenex comes to save the day, and this is a great look Here already. No one has quite managed to make the break yet. Chance Cami wins his fight over by the points. You've still got control for now. Kleenex locking down Arches. The shots keep going as the Great Dane finds his third in a row. Zellium trying to make his way through the alleyway now. And oh, 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 Kleenex, you give him an opening. You give him a chance. And he starts to look disgusting. Ultra still holding the hard point. Hey, keep in mind, man, slaying power is key for this Toronto team. What did we see a few hills ago? Well, it was Bance going on a five spree. We just had Kleenex on a four, and this is number six for Cami. Looking for the streaks, but Selium by the hair of his chinny chin chin gets shut down. So he's making sure he's taking away those, but at the same time, that lead. Toronto's done a nice job of working on that comeback. They're set up for new once again. And keep in mind, it took FaZe all of 20 or 30 seconds to break through on this hill last time. Toronto, they need to fix that, need to deal with the pressure that comes through the right side of the map. And well, it's Sim trying to find the angle, and it's Cami that shuts him down. Yeah, Cami for the time being, but now you've got a few players dropping. Forced to insight straight off spawn. And Bance find the kill on player in tools. Yes, he does. That's a nice win. Still trying to slow down the push from FaZe. No one going down too hard and fast for Toronto Ultra right now. They're going to keep this position sweet. Another push now from FaZe through the tool side of the map. Bance has locked down that dark corridor. You can hear the gunshots in the background as Bance. All he has to do is win this one fight, and that's a lot of time that goes away of his team. Anyone there for the trade? Yes, it's going to be in sight. There we go. Ultra going to hold another 30 seconds here. Pushing forward, trying to get map control. Oh, this is beautiful, and they're having careful oh, gameplay, no. too. They were taking their time, and maybe a couple players are going to drop, and, well, all of a sudden, Bance is the last one in the hill, and you know, BZ doesn't want him there. Two-piece for him, and now Toronto, well, they got to be careful about just getting spawn-trapped. It is the flood right now through tools. They're trying to take selling him down. Frankly, he's just causing problems. The movement from this young man is crisp as ever. Can't find the kills, though. The double challenge is there. It is a 15-point game. Ultra have made the comeback, but as we go in towards new, you see the problem. They got a couple players for phase they need to get past just to get inside this hill. That's yeah, going to be the player up top now, just darting all over the place, trying to deal damage anywhere he can find it. Shots are in. He still has the point for now. Insight will finally put him down. Unfortunately, Toronto are not able to perfectly chain together these two points, but the kills are great so far. Abizi, though, slides in off the top rope, comes out of green, finds himself a kill before being traded, and here comes the push from FaZe. Ultra. About 20 points separating these two teams now. There's 30 seconds remaining on this hard point. Selling him from the front. Abizi still working his way through green and bans. Sneaky, sneaky bans. This position from lights. Is he able to cause any more damage? No, selium has got his number. The hard point now open for the time being. The chance. Ultra, despite things looking a little down, a little bit gloomy, they are pulling this back one hill at a time. I mean, they have just carved out a ridiculous comeback so far, but as we go into new, right now, the important parts of the map that FaZe wants to control, they have on lock and key, right? A player in Arches, a player pushed out towards P2, and well, Bance, he knows it. He's looking for these kills, but Simp has found his home inside the hill. Toronto, they're trying to basically three flood through mid right now. Kleenex looking for the gunfight win. Simp there to drop him. First pitch gets stuffed, and well, now for Toronto, you're starting to spawn out. Yeah, they're starting to spawn out. Simp's going to be have eyes on that one at any moment now, but can they make their way forward fast enough. Beezy's going to make the flank safe. There's still two players through the front. They're going to overwhelm Simp for now. So Cami and Kleenex on the point. They don't have a lot of map control to work with though. So they're going to have to hold this position themselves. The rest of the squad floods on forward. Next hard point is completely locked down for Atlanta phase. An ultra chance if they hold this point. Now, not when Simp's doing things like that. If they hold this point, they are going to be able to get themselves back into this one. But there you go. Phase map control. Hard point was basically theirs for a while. You're going to go over towards the next. Man, oh man. This one is far from over. Ultra really put in a fight. And you're taking such a long route from Simp, by the way, and he's able to find some of these kills. His teammates are going to be able to flood through green, and they're looking for just this early control of the hill. 20-point bump right now for FaZe, but Cami may be there to cause him problems. And frankly, for both of these teams, right, unless FaZe gets in this hill straight away, neither can win it here. So there's going to be constant fights for green control, constant fights on that battle for P2. That's why Vance right now is hanging out in top green, as FaZe basically forced to just go for this hill time to try to rack up as much of a lead as they can in Toronto, well, they're playing it safe. They're just making sure that no one from FaZe sneaks through. And they managed to get any of the contests, though, because, again, this is going to get a little dicey. They can win it here. So, FaZe, 25 for the win now. Kleenex trying to make his way forward. You can see those white arrows now as Toronto mounts the offensive. Insight, a nice one. No, he can't get any more. It's a team kill. Bance manages to unfortunately land a team kill. And you still got FaZe on the point. Cami making his way forward. Shots are in. Not quite enough to get it done. 
As BZ now holds the line, a big 1v1 against Bance, and this is huge chance the win could still be had here for Atlanta FaZe. There's no one in position for Toronto Ultra. Bar Cami now, who has to make the run alone. A BZ though, guns him down, and FaZe, they take map number one. Not without some shenanigans from Ultra. That is it. Or more. They can put the pads down. Took care of business on game number one. And I tell you, the way that game started, I mean, FaZe goes up 80, 90 points after the first three hills. They're breaking P3s like it's nothing. I was getting very concerned, but Ultra fought back, but towards the tail end of the game, really just on P1, right? I'm thinking about how safety net, you need to make sure you keep that top green control, rotate for P2, but then FaZe, well, eventually they just bully out the site hard enough. They got the job done on P1, and frankly, just a, a phenomenal game all around. Abizi started hot, finished hot. You couldn't ask for anything more for FaZe just to start off that series, man, with that 1-0 lead. 1-0 lead, again, a map that you would expect them to. They're, what, 6-2 and two on that map coming into this one, so heavily, heavily favored on Garrison Hardpoint. Quick look at those stats, and again, a busy man. He went pretty wild in the kills department, but Selium really dishing out the damage there. On the other side of the board, it was Kami. Again, our game field featured player dealing a lot of the damage there, but the rest of the squad really unable to keep up. And trust, what was it? Was it rotations? Like, what was it really getting it done for FaZe? We saw their breaks were pretty good, but all in all, what was the key to victory there? I mean, really, it was just the slaying power that happened at the start of the game, right? You never want to go down 80 or 90 points in general, let alone against Atlanta FaZe. If you have, what, players, Kleenex, Bants, I think quite a few all started out double negative. They did a hell of a job just to fight back, but if you find yourself down by that much early on, it is just going to be too tall of a mountain to climb. And, of course, FaZe, I mean, this is just a, another day in the office for those guys. Happy for that one only. Indeed. Well, that's going to be the first map done. Now, friends, it's time to put your shoes and socks on because we're jumping on a flight. We're going to Miami for the search and destroy when we come back after this break at number two of this exciting grand finals here in the second major we'll be right back Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. The Call of Duty League is presented by Zenni, the official eyewear for the CDL. Armor your eyes with Zenni Block's blue light protection glasses by visiting zenni.com forward slash gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Major 2 final presented by Game Fuel is now in the swing of things. Miami Search and Destroy coming up next. Before we get into that, though, let's look at our Game Fuel keys to victory chance. Let's talk Atlanta first. And all of this is basically the theme of phase. Just play your game and you should be fine, right? We've heard in some listen-ins when the coaches are talking to them, they just stated their players like Crowder's like, guys, if we just play our game, make sure we keep our teamwork on point. No one's going to be able to beat us. I agree. As long as the comms are nice and consistent and you keep everything clean, you're going to be good to go. You've had a few moments throughout the year where you hear them kind of get a little bit frantic. There's always that voice in the background. RCDs is usually the guy that's like, hey guys, calm it down, focus focus up will be good to go but I mean FaZe they have the hot hand their map pool is ridiculous and with nine maps in the series again we just know that their pool runs deep so they should be coming to this with all the confidence in the world you know they expect nothing less and 
on the flip side for Toronto Ultra. Well, their keys to victory, slaying power is absolutely the biggest theme for these guys in the respawns. 0.83 overall versus Atlanta. It is not great in respawn specifically. It drops down to a 0.79. So they've been struggling, but at least from what we saw in map number one, they picked it up quite a bit. They are getting closer. And I would say, well, the point number two is the interesting one. Take that mental reset, right, Miles? We're watching bands do those breathing exercises in between every single map. That is the type of mentality you need to have, right? Wash away that garrison hard point, bounce back and get ready for the next map in the series. Because again, it's a best of nine. It is a marathon. There is so much Call of Duty that needs to be played. As long as you don't let any momentum slip away from you, make sure that you hit that bounce back and come into every single map fresh. Toronto will be in a much better spot. So frankly, I like the smiles we're seeing on that top side of the screen. Oh, indeed. And again, for 0.2% of you that expected Toronto Ultra to be in this position, pat yourselves on the back. The rest of us were certainly counting them out, but you cannot count out any team in this league. As tight as the competition is, this is going to be the greatest test that Toronto Ultra will arguably face, you know, in their careers. Right now, this squad for Atlanta Phase, they are high and mighty above the rest. Miami Search and Destroy, coming up now. Map number two in this great best of nine. Chance to talk to you about Miami. Who's really going into this one the favorite? It's actually a very interesting question. This is one of the maps where FaZe, I mean, at times they look completely and utterly dominant, but there's also been times where they slip up uh, and make a few key mistakes. So if I'm looking at this from the Toronto Ultra camp, I just want them to play hyper aggressive uh, on offense. And of course, aggressive on Miami looks a little bit different than the other maps, but <laughs> there are small windows of opportunities to get the bomb down, to make a play towards either bomb site. You have to make sure if there is ever a small opening, you take full advantage of it, but what we're seeing right now, a standard setup on defense, a standard setup on offense. Frankly, I don't know if anyone's even thrown a stun yet as the first shots finally ring through. Cammy may deal the first pieces of damage, but he's really yet to draw the first blood. Ants and Sandy out here. And hopefully we won't be having to save Private Benjamin. If he makes his way forward, the rest of the squad should be there in position. Ask these tags in the Phoenix. Play should be afoot now. Watch those Atlanta phase arrows now move over towards the A-bomb site. That's the big kill from inside, though, in the middle of the map. Asti's nades go through. It's a timed, coordinated effort, but they don't kill Bance. They don't even hurt him. He's still all good there. He does manage to get the bomb down. So, an interesting situation to be had here is... Wow, Abizi made a tough stuff. Sim, though, from behind. Trying to push out these attackers from the beach. You still have Asti's on top visitors with a high ground position, but the clock is ticking now. Less than 30 to get the defuse. And FaZe are going to have to fly. I mean, they've basically accomplished nothing on the map right now. Time is ticking down. And BZ maybe trying to hunt down inside, but he's just playing a smart corner. Bant is going to get caught, but 16 seconds left on the clock. FaZe, though, finding all of the kills. Cami trying to be the hero right now for the team. Someone's got to hop the bomb with less than 10 seconds. And it's up to, what, one man to defend, one man to look for the kills. And they line up for both of them. Kleenex and Cami get the job done and get that first round on board. Hell of a job to make that happen, but frankly, I mean, hell, if you ever find yourself in a situation in Miami, you get the bomb planted on A, and you get out and the bomb planter stays alive, that's a round you should never lose. That was, like, picture-perfect timing. Like, Cami comes in, they both land their kills at exactly the same time. A magnificent defensive round, what you would expect to see when you get the bomb down that early with the man advantage, and Toronto Ultra. GG's in the chat, first round goes their way, but now FaZe on the attack. Only two kills to the team's name so far. Look to see that change. And it looks to be a similar approach. Looks like approximately three men towards A through the hotel they go by the back pool. Any kind of bombs they'll be thrown with an aids. No one's hitting the pool with that one. And it's going to be 2 2 split on defense for Toronto Ultra. As you said, chance of standard stuff. And honestly, I think maybe just the information of Arsity spotting out Cami, he might think that he's crossed and pushed up past the A bomb. So that just means FaZe going to have to take their time and clear out all of these corners. You see a BZ waiting for Selim to get over towards the boat. And well, Insight certainly has the information. He's got the reads on point. Knows a BZ is down low. And you see the play Toronto's trying to set up. They are oh. double flanking right now. But RC's reads the first. Looking for a second pick as well. And well, picks back and forth. All of a sudden, 3v2 man advantage for Toronto. Their reads have been so clean. But a BZ opportunity to make a play. Massive opportunity. Cami now strikes through. Finds that kill. It's all into a BZ in the 1v3 now. And he is on the quiet prowl. Insight though. He's read this. Guns up. Will Abizi be able to get the kill into him? No, he doesn't expect the position to be there. And it's going to be two straight rounds now for Ultra. And Insight, the bedrock right now of this team. Able to find the pick on Selium. You make sure that they don't have boat control. You're feeling great. 
an insight to player. I know we've been like, you know, hyping him up for his S and D K D, but it's really not just the high kill games that he's brought to the table. His level of consistency has been ridiculous. He's had one bad search map all year long, and the worst he's ever done is he went five and six on a mascot uh, <laughs> against Atlanta. Outside of that, positive every single map has like three games where he's dropped double digits. I mean, simply in search, the man cannot be stopped and 3-1 start for him. You expect nothing less. This time, though, you see FaZe have actually stacked up heavily on B on defense. I think it might be a situation for Durano where if you try to get the bomb down on A, FaZe might be trying to flank nice and quick as Bance again. Just army crawl central. He loves the sand. Loves the sand. Not everyone loves sand, but Bance clearly got a thing for it. Asties can't see him. Like, that eliminates the window entirely. Yeah, it's slow, and it's going to, you know, chew through the clock, but... Asti's going to get tagged up slightly. It has to be another A hit, but you see the defenders. Heavy push towards B. Insight somehow managing to pull that one out. A BZ surely easy trade for him. Next. Oh my! He takes the top of Asti's off, so that's going to be the defenders at A now. Falls to sell. 40 seconds on the bomb. Look at the split now for the defenders. Kami lying in wait. Back hotel. He's like in the towels. You barely ever see anyone there. Kami playing outside the box right now. Selium now. Toe to toe with Kleenex. Massive shots, but the trades come through from Ultra, and they have once again got Atlanta FaZe's number here on Miami. And there's so many things that are going right. Obviously, the strat for Bans just to make sure you don't give the information up when you're going towards bomb, but Insight still finding those big kills, right? You saw the triple stack from defense from FaZe. That just means that you don't want to ever give up driveway control. You don't want to give up that mid pressure, uh, at least not before you get the A bomb down. Who's the player that's there to watch the flank? It was Insight. Find Simp, takes him down, and even though Abizi's there for the trades, it simply took too long, or took FaZe too long to set up that play. So this is right now Toronto just having an absolute field day. As once again, you got long range shots coming through, but FaZe, three players working towards A. They got to take their time again, clear out boat control, start working your way up the map. And of course, it's Insight. The man spotting all of this out. Can't yet fight find that first pick. He might have seen all three players. He may have had full information there, but the rest of the Toronto, uh, yeah, the defenders, they're not coming up just yet. So, Beezy, he has managed to cross the entire side of visitors. So now he's got an opportunity to maybe hit the back. Sim looking for something there, just information with the jumps. And Insight is playing this very, very safe. In the top office there of the visitor center. A bomb site, relatively open. Can't really make the play onto it yet, but Kami, he's going to creep forward. This timing might not be great unless, oh, what did I say? The Flying Scotsman finds a way. First blood to Kami, less than 30 seconds on the clock. And Ibiza is trying to make a play through visitors, but you can't plant the bomb if you don't have middle map control. So Kami, as long as he's alive, things are incredibly difficult for FaZe. And Insight just so patient. He's seen Ibiza do it once. He shut him down the first time. The second is no different. And now, I mean, you got what? Simp with the bomb trying to go for the trades, but Insight too clean. Oh. s and prowess on point. Give him the three-piece for the best play as Toronto just tearing through FaZe. In the reads, I mean, what? Did he read this book a month ago last year? Whatever it is, he's got the chapters memorized and there's a three-part story. Gets all three kills. Just insane stuff right now from inside. Yeah, big stuff. Again, it was Miami in his debut series against the LA Thieves. We all started screaming his name. He had a Herculean performance against them. And right now, Cammy's 5-0. and He's sitting at 7-2. and Bants and Kleenex, they're just happy to be here right now. And Sim... Currently sat upon the donut. He's got the same KD ratio as the maps right now. I mean, it's 0-4 for them. 0-4 for Sim. <sighs> Chance, is something going to go a little different? And this is the first time we're seeing Ultra deviate from that plan. It's a three-man hit towards B. You've trained FaZe to expect the A push. And that's what the defense looks like right now. I mean, yeah, you just triple stack down defense. They don't know it. Uh, obviously, we have the information. They don't. But if they play this aggressive, even if you just trade yourself out, if a BZ finds the first blood... It might not matter. If you can get this bomb down and make sure you have Doc's control, you're feeling fantastic about the setup. But if you take too long, FaZe is going to start to wrap back and Selim is on his way. He's on his way now, making his way through. Sim's going to be the one staying out, looking at the flank. But I could bite him. Selim with a nice first blood. Wonderful shots from the inside of the hotel lobby to the backside of the garage there. That is huge. Ants watching the cross. Kleenex there by the jump up. And it looks like Ultra might be getting a bit aggressive. Sel finds himself number two. A BZ finds the next. It's going to be Kami now alone in a 1v4. Bad situation to be in. There's less than 30 seconds on the clock. You know what? Good news for Ultra. You got a couple of rounds to burn. He wants to keep the streaks alive, though. 
And this might just be a busy oh, mistake, right? There's go. the first one. That's six. One more. He's got the artillery. And FaZe, obviously, they're going to know this. They can pull up the scoreboard, and it looks like no one else is going to overcommit, but maybe making the best of a, a poor round right there. Cammy, the streaks are still alive. He's still got the lead, but I, I would say for the Ultra Camp, that's just going to be a tough round on rewatch. They just had the perfect play call. You triple stacked over towards Garage on offense for the first time, and, well, Zabizi, the lone defender, Basically never had any pressure put on him. Ultra just took long enough that FaZe gets the rat back for free. He get posted up in the back alley inside a hotel and make the kills that much easier. So a small missed opportunity, but still, Cami, 6-0. and oh. And artillery on this map is devastating. I don't see a whole lot of streaks on Miami typically, but this should be fun if you can pull, pull it away. Three man stacking towards B on the defense in Atlanta FaZe. They're going to run into a lot of trouble soon. Abizi, top piano. Here we go. He's going to strike the first chord. Kleenex on the stairs. Cami by the back bins. Bance on the inside. It's going to be Kleenex up first. First kill goes this way. Second one almost there. And man, he's aggressive. He's trying to land the shots. The nade's going to be in that room. And it is a kill box. Kleenex finds number two. Selium's going to be up next from the side of Garage. And look at the man move. He is on a run right now. There's the next Kleenex. A three kill round for him while his teammates pick up the one more. And my, my, Toronto with a devastating performance at B. And this is just simple stuff. Just a nice setup coming out. I don't know if FaZe just caught off guard, not wanting to check their corners, or just the full send on trying to slide out. But Kleenex with the clean plays. Give him the three for the best play. And you talk about that mental reset in between maps bouncing back. I mean, they took a, a tough loss on Garrison Hardpoint. But if you just did for game number two, you would not imagine that to be the case. I mean, you still got Cammy thinking about streaks, but honestly, do the streaks even matter? You're just completely outplaying FaZe for the moment. And how often do we see Simp on the donut cam not getting a kill yet through six rounds? Nutty stuff so far. And well, Toronto, maybe a bit of a, another passive round looking over towards A. I think this play might honestly just be waiting for Cammy to get a pick and trying to play around that artillery. Either way, they've got the complete map spread. They do indeed. Lance goes down as Simp finally gets himself on the board. Better late than never, I say. Going to be Cami over by the docks. Just hoping for a kill from that position. Like, he's not really, again, at this stage, it is definitely just let Cami get the kill and open up the skies with that artillery. Mid map presence completely and utterly on phase right now, Chance. And I think for Ultra, like, it's find a kill and then we'll reassess the game plan inside from top balcony. Might be the guy to do it. Even still, you're just going to be running out of time right now. And for Cami, his job is very delicate, right? Has to worry about the potential full flank, players jumping out of balcony, or even the piano push. Kleenex trying to get this bomb closer to A, and Insight's finally working his way over to help his teammate out. But, I mean, 28 seconds on the clock. You have almost no time to try and make this happen and the man disadvantage. But Kleenex there for the bomb down. And Cami making the play through the middle of the map. The artillery is actually his. Looks like he's going to get hunted, but maybe a partial drop secure. But the bomb is planted. Insight's out towards both, but he gets caught as well. Kleenex for the one versus three. One versus three. It's not going to happen. I mean, Cami gives his life to get the bomb down. You find another kill. Was it worth it? You do get the artillery though and that that could well be the final nail in this miami coffin atlanta phase with a good round but it feels desperate chance five two still this is ultra's map point we'll see if that artillery comes into play and just to think about what this means for phase right you really can't go towards this a site at least not until the artillery is gone because i mean where's your cover it's a very wide open beach half that map is exposed you're basically going to be forced to funnel in through piano uh, and forced to go through garage so i mean toronto they should know that they should stack it up we saw last time on defense that's exactly what they did it was kleenex with the big plays over towards piano and uh, i mean again cammy's job is very easy from this point forward right stay alive stay posted don't take any gunfight you know that you're not going to win and as long as you're careful you should be good to go but as expected phase on the attack heading towards b trying to make a play and again with the artillery it's, it's a very very delicate balance when you initially pull it out, you get the pings, you see where all the enemy players are, and then you get three salvos to fire. But again, over by Garage here, that first blood is huge onto a BZ. It's a lot of coverage. It might not be as effective, but that A-bomb site, there's no way FaZe go for it. There's not a chance. Unless they kill Kami early on. Here we go, chance though. Slow pushing through piano once again. Selling with the back docks covered. 
and he's got a nice angle, but obviously the, the pressure's on Kleenex once again. You try to funnel out through that front door and you hear shots coming through. Kleenex, he's just waiting to pounce. Get some information, gets up top, but gets gunned by Simp. Even up the odds to a 3v3 and still a fair bit of time. 40 seconds on the clock is quite a bit to make something happen. They're trying to just pull these players in phase, trying to take those tight gun fights. They don't want to be out in the open. They know Kami's still alive. Asti's going for the quick plant. Here comes the ping. You know he's on the bomb. Might just go for the quick peek. And he find the kill. Simps upstairs. The kill would be tremendous from this position. It's going to be insight hitting the flank. Two players now through the back alleyway. It's Toronto Ultra. 35 seconds to get the defuse. Lance has managed to overshoot through garage. Asti's watching down low. Selian from the heady. Selian finds a big one. Selian gets two. And Asti finds the kill as well. Atlanta Faye, stay alive. 3-5. And this is, I mean, this might be the potential setup for a, a breakdown. I don't know if Toronto is thinking too much or not thinking enough, but you did everything right that round. You got the first blood on a BZ. You get the setup you want, but then you just get picked apart on site and you ping the artillery. Don't call it in. Let the bomb get planted. Now the ping is going to be used up. It makes your job just a little bit more difficult. Admittedly, they have a, a nice round cushion that they've built up, but things have been getting a little bit problematic. And I would say maybe go back to Old Faithful. Maybe go back to Bance with the army crawl, little strat to get the bomb planted at A, but at least for the moment, it's Kleenex with the bomb. Might be a slightly different setup, and even for FaZe, look oh, at the man. stack they, they have on defense. They're playing this aggressive on A. It's a perfect read. You know the Ultra want to be taking the bomb over to A to make the most of the artillery, and there's no way they're going to fall for it. And again, Ultra, good read from them. You know each other's tendencies. You know what is at stake right now. You're going to go back over towards B, and a BZ. He's like, I got B for now, but I'm seeing shadows. Oh, and Insight wins it. That's a massive kill. Now mid-map is going to be wide open. Bomb could arguably go down. You could use the artillery to defend the bomb. When it comes to that defuse, Vance is now going to try to secure top piano, and this just became so difficult for FaZe. Oh, and he gets out too after the bomb plant. That just makes it super clean. And again, for Cammy, you know, he can just rain the bombs in from the sky. So FaZe, they're going to have to start flying at this site and gun quite a few players to make it happen. And it's the double push from Piano where they're looking for the play. There they go. It's going to be a duet. But again, here comes the artillery. Completely flattening the back alleyway. Bance, he finds the kills upstairs. That's two of them. And Selium gets blown to pieces. The artillery comes into play. And that's going to be 6-3. Ultra, they strike back on Miami. What a win. Picking them apart. Good plays from Banta. Frankly, I would say Insight was the rock that entire map long. We talk about this a ton during the major from stage one, right? You're looking at a best of nine series. There are four search and destroys, and at the time, FaZe was the best search team in the game. You know you need to find a way to beat these guys in search, or there's gonna be no hope. But so far, you see it on the screen. 6-0 in search and destroy. They are the team that has FaZe's number in the game mode, apparently, of all things, and even going back towards the pick and bans, right? FaZe is good on Raid, but because Toronto's had the advantage, they have to keep banning it out. So there's a couple maps in this place for search that FaZe aren't gonna be super comfortable on. We got the Express, I think it was for the map number five, and even the checkmate for map number nine down the road. So I'd say for Toronto, man, if you start taking down in search like this, I mean, hell, that's all you need to do. Oh boy, Charles. This is uh, going to be a long one. Now that we're at 1-1, this is going to be a long one. 6-3 there in Miami. The series tied up 1-1 one one so far. Uh, we will look at our US Army tactical play in just a moment. Of course, going to be Kleenex. He lands a nice one in round six, my friend. Ah, well, Search and Destroy, not exactly the uh, the shining star of Atlanta Faze's game right now. That's control, but walk me through these final moments. Mate, Kleenex was a maniac. I mean, there's nothing tactical about it, right? <laughs> just pure gunny on gunny. And even just doing the smart thing. Maybe it's the, the tactician, right? Not just red dot chasing, not trying to hunt down Sim. Just use the nade, get the job done. But it is just one of those daggers, right? It is so difficult to work yourself to plant this bomb on B. And Kleenex showing exactly why. Play a cheeky corner, pick up a nice little best play. And Tobias Yule Janssen claps all around. Hell of a game for map number two. Gotta keep the hands warm. Ultra gonna be feeling great right now. 1-1 in this series. But again, it's a very, very long day for Ultra. This is what they look like picking up the win there. The artillery lands and it's high fives all round. Though, they still have a long series ahead of them. Coming up next, Checkmate on control. Don't go anywhere. Finals will continue after this break.
the game has turned on its head. Run, run, get onto the point. Sammy finds himself two more. Oh, baby. Absolutely slate. What a magnificent comeback from Atlanta. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Major 2 Finals presented by Game Fuel. We are about to dive into Checkmate Control, but before we get there, let's talk Atlanta phase. Chance, they have had a stunning stage one and an even more stellar stage two. They're pretty much the best in everything. Give or take a few things, but walk me through these insane stats. I mean, the most ridiculous part about this is like, we've had some of the best teams in the game at different points throughout Call of Duty history that are like the best in two game modes. Like the best respawn team, but then the search is kind of average or like insane and hard point in search, but the game three, not so much. They're just across the board dominant at everything you could want them to be the best at. Their win record is insane. And I think one of the funnier things is like throughout stage one, they were obviously perfect. This is where their stats get out of like absolute control. Then the meta switched and they started to get better. Like their stats got bumped up even more because keep in mind, you take out the XM4, that means your SMG players are going to thrive in a BZ and Simp stats are just, I mean, some of the most ridiculous stats we've seen of all time. They have been insane, but at the same time, I mean, again, maybe a couple of those cracks starting to surface, right? You know, Gorillas took them down. They're starting to lose a couple more searches. So they got to make sure it's final times. Clutch up, stay icy, whatever it needs to be. And what you see for the Astro Social Soundboard, Ultra already, Miles, starting to put up a fight. 100% Death Ice says Ultra put up a fight. This is going to be an amazing series. You know it. It is going to be an amazing series. I detect a hint of bias in that tweet, but that's absolutely fine. These are the facts. It's already a bit more interesting than the first Majors Finals, which felt at times like a very sordid one-sided affair. But now that we go into checkmate control chance, this has been it. This has been Atlanta phase through and through this major. They have not dropped a round of control yet. In the same vein that, again, Toronto Ultra have yet to drop a search and destroy map, this could be insane. Checkmate control, see the map records there on screen. This major though, horrifying stuff. Checkmate always goes down to the wire, my friend. This should be a treat. I mean, it almost always goes down to the wire the past few times FaZe have played it. It's not really gone that way. This has been a bully map for the team, right? They're ending games with assassinations. They've been having a ton of fun on checkmate control. And, well, we talked about it quite a bit, right? In the respawns, they have been massively outslaying out Toronto Ultra. And funnily enough, in the head-to-head -head matchup specifically, Simp is averaging 23 kills per controlled map. Kleenex and, or Kleenex and uh, Vance, excuse me, combined, only averaging 21. So Simp and Control has been a better SMG duo than Toronto's actual SMG <laughs> duo. But as we stand, a little bit of map control. Cami over towards the point. He gets dropped and won't phase. They have that map control. Again, phase is statistical absurdities. But current form, Toronto Ultra really putting up a good fight already. Relatively even in the life count. Again, we're seeing Ultra attacking, for those of you unaware, in control. Two zones, put bodies on point. It starts to slowly capture, or you run the enemy's lives down and go for the round win. So far, so good. We're gonna move over towards A, the more important zone, really, that you wanna see Toronto grab here. And oh dear, Bansa to leave that position. Now you're gonna have to make the push forward. Quick tags, now trying to balance plates as, again, A and B. Both the zones under pressure right now for Toronto. Phase look to make A safe, and now they should be able to cut across. Well, while FaZe has dominated A Street, Bance has been hanging out on the actual point, but obviously if he's the only one on it, it takes a long time. He's trying to get that second typical progression through. He's able to secure that, but then Ibizi clears him off with a two-piece, and just like that, any momentum you had on offense, Ibizi is going to be there to shut it down. Comes off spawn and goes on an immediate four spree, and maybe just maybe, already thinking about some score streaks. Yeah, maybe just maybe, though. Look at this aggression, though. Toronto Ultra trying to clear out their base. Now moving their way forward. Vance finds a nice kill on a sim. Gotta slow down a BZ though. Streaks aren't ideal on this map, but they still make a dent, and that's gonna be it from Kleenex. Finds the kill. It's gonna be a second in a row. Gotta make that number three. Boy, oh boy. And it's a two-man stack. Over towards B. They have secured the point. Now all their attentions go towards A. Toronto, plenty of time on the clock to do this. A minute 15. And this is wonderful stuff, and this is very patient gameplay, and unfortunately for Vance, just get some Call of Duty timing, but he stays alive, and you got Insight, Miles starting to heat up just a little bit. He's able to pick up the two kills, A Street. The eight point is going to be wide open that don't have any trophies on site just yet, but they have control, and you got Vance and Insight working together. I'd say for FaZe, I mean, they're going to have to start flying at this point because the reinforcements for Toronto are there. 
There it is, the two-man push. They're going to find those kill simps up next. Simply not strong enough to bring down the might of Ultra right now. That's going to be the A zone captured, and it's an attacking round win for Ultra. Wonderful start here on Checkmate. That was, that was beautiful and efficient. I mean, they had two good opportunities working over towards this B point. This is what happened to the first one, and BZ flies through and just shuts it down. But, I mean, they bounced out perfectly well. You had what? Simp was inside of NASA in the tube in the back, and it was three players on Toronto that challenged them to take it down. That means the communication is on point. They're not letting any players slip through. And what the hell is this? Simp 0-8 started off the Miami 0-5 as well. Unchar <laughs> uncharacteristic performances out of him so far. We certainly expect him to turn it around, but hey, we talk about checkmate control. We talk about defense being favored in Toronto. They did some of the hard work early. And they took the round off a phase. They've made the gods bleed, and I believe the governor of California said if it bleeds, we can kill it. But now Sims back in the game. Three and eight, three in a row. Is this it? Is he going to go wild? Insight finally puts him down, but over to Wasky. He's looking to get the first tick on the A zone. His teammates show up, and again, the more bodies on the point, the faster the zone captures. You've got two of them now. And they're going to be picking up this time very, very quickly. The second tick of A now complete. Atlanta Faze looking brilliant on the offense. Cammy will find one kill. Slow it down for the moment. Is anyone going to be there in time to stop it? Cammy can't get the kill. Phoenix does, though. You will save the A zone for now. Hopefully drain the progression. Oh, now, this is going to be a dangerous look for Bance as he makes his way into the spawn of Atlanta Phase. There's the first. Any more to be had? Oh, Bance is a lead right now. This is going to be a four spree for him, but he doesn't win the gunfight, so he finally gets dropped. But, I mean, just shades of what we've seen from two different teams, right? Bance gets behind enemy lines, and, well, players on Phase, they don't even realize that he's there. They get shot in the back, shot in the side. The teamwork. I mean, definitely in favor of Toronto for the moment. Oh. Secured both points. There's a oh. three down. There's four from Bantz. You're stuck in your spawn. And now Toronto gets to have a field day. Set up and start looking for these kills. Just trap Atlanta Faze in the corner and pin them back against that large green wall and just let them have it with those Krigs, baby. Tell him he's going to be up next. A great stick onto Insight. That's going to buy his team some space. Over to Bantz now, making his kills from blue. He lands one. Any more to be had from this spot? Ask these eyes on. You keep Bantz alive. If he can stay alive, this is so annoying. 15 seconds remaining. You have to get phase on at the point to stop the clock. There it is. Oh my god, he's still alive, Chance. Five in a row now for Bantz. He's 15 and four, right? He, he's just been hanging out in their spawn, just stopping them so slowly. There's the next one in line. Six free from him. Every time he comes off spawn, he just ends up in phases causing all sorts of problems. Now, two seconds on the clock. It's a last-ditch effort oh towards God. the point. And before they get the win, because they got the kills on A, Bance did his job and got at least the artillery on board. I mean, this is Benjamin Bance at his absolute finest right now. This is the start of the best play that, yes, he turned into streaks. And I think one of the best moments of this is just his ability to stay alive, right? A couple shoulders, he gets shots tagged in. Any gunfight, he wasn't supremely confident in winning. He did not take. That is efficient work from the Bansy Castle. And this is incredible to see Toronto still maintaining this pace they've set throughout that lower bracket run. And oof, he's on a seven spree. 17 and four, a rule for Bans. Atlanta phase on another defensive round. We'll see if they can hold it. Otherwise, Toronto Ultra. They will shock us all with a 3-0 here, but they've got a lot of work to do. Phase, an aggressive start. Phoenix somehow gets the best of a BZ. Now Simp making his way forward as well, Chance. I mean, they're just getting completely shut down right now. You got what, Selim and Simp both double negative? I don't know how many times we've seen that this year. And well for Vance, he's running the score up. Eight spree for him, gets both of his streaks. And more importantly, you're on offense and you're going for the spawn kills and Simp eventually there for the response. But even Kleenex is in the base causing problems. FaZe, they can't get comfortable. Every single lane they try to push up, they're getting shot in the back, shot in the side. Too many places to look and for Selim. I mean, you know what? You try to get plane control, Kleenex, he's just going hunting. His map presence, he has been everywhere, but finally gets taken down. But even still for Toronto, tied on lives, one ticket progression has come through, and maybe for FaZe, they'll be happy through it. Finally, for them, a moment to breathe. Yeah, a moment to breathe, and now a moment to try to start take the lead away from Toronto Ultra. Kleenex finds one, and can't slip through. If Kleenex can make that front line a little safer, and he does, Simp's going to be up next. So two big kills, and Insight wins the fight over by the Orange Bunker as well. So there you go. Forward position now to be had for Toronto Ultra. Simp on the defense. Agreed on the cami, snaps onto the trophy. Not an easy thing to do, believe me. No auto aim. It is very hard. These boys are good at what they do. 20 seconds remaining, chance. 
Atlanta Faze looking to get themselves on the board. They just have to keep Ultra off the point. Oh, and Bant's got shut down as well. He tried to make the play towards the top of the plane. And Simp, of course, he's looking for streaks, which Whoa. they might need in response. A couple trades over towards A, and you see the time ticking down. Six seconds left on the game clock. There's an artillery uh -oh. for Simp, uh -oh. able to get it through. And for Toronto, I mean, they're making the last-ditch effort, but they're going to get killed. That is time off the clock. Atlanta phase on the board for a necessary bounce back round, but I mean, it, it might be too little too late, right? Simp lurking for some streaks, but you're back on offense and keep in mind, Vance still going to be sitting on that artillery, still sitting on that cruise missile. Yeah, streaks to play with. That's a very, very big moment for Atlanta phase, a swing round indeed. And one more of these on offense would be massive. They do have to find that pace early on. Not an easy thing to do on the attack. Checkmate, offensively favored. Let's see what they've got. We call them the best team in the league for a reason. Now it's time for them to show us. Again, streaks to be had. One more kill for Sim. Get it done with a stick? Imagine. There it is. Full streaks for Sim. This could be influential in turning the map around. He does finally get shut down, but while that's happened, progress today going through. That's two ticks of progression in Toronto. I mean, they're thinking about trying to fight this. A couple players wrapping back, but Vance, he knows what oh his key God. to success is, man. Get behind oh enemy God. lines and start to slay. There's a two-piece for him, and, well, he has the opportunity. Kill these players again off spawn. Knows both of them are there. And I think he might know that that's Sim, so he's only got the 74 <laughs> U, but he gets gunned. Bant's taken care of in the rest of phase. Well, outside of Arceus, you're going to be stuck in your base, and Sim, well, he's calling in the crews. They're trying to win this nice and quick. Oh, but he hits the back spawn. He's not going to find a single person there. And again, you've got a lot of effort there towards the A zone. Stellion with top playing control is going to be great. That makes B a little bit more safer. But now you go. Phase on the A point, trying to get the capture now. Very, very close to getting it done. Arceus has worked like a madman over by that zone. Finally gets the capture. Atlanta phase with a slight life lead and just under two minutes of time to work it on B. And you've got one player on point now. The spawn kill's now coming through. Finally take care of Arsties, but they're gonna look to stack the point now. And again, we've seen how quickly points get captured. Dell wins the fight, Abizi wins his. Oh baby, this is gonna be massive. Again, if they stack that point, it is over. First ticket B gone. Trying to stack the point, but they're getting picked apart for the moment. Arcity is the lone man around, and he's got players from a couple different spots. You see, actually, number eight jump down from the top of the plane. Arcity is spinning in circles, waiting for the support, but it's simply not there. While this is going on, Selium's trying to take a long route. He gets dealt with, sent back on the attack, but right now for FaZe, they don't have a ton of map control. Sim just hanging on the top of the plane. They're looking for this clean four down. After they get a couple kills, then they hop on it. They have so much time to work with. So much time to work with. You know, and 19 lives as well. So they've got time and they've got the resources. Not to mention the artillery. Selling with a nice big kill. The inside back and forth we go. And look at the challenge on that man. Ooh, he went for it. He actually went for it. The man is feeling himself right now. Insight's first major. And he's put on a bit of a show for us though. Sim, he's been here a couple of times. The world champion MVP finding the kills. And still, one minute, 10 chance. Faze burning the Midnight Oil as they get a little closer towards the loss. They have to go big and Sim. Those nice two kills in on the B zone this you go. It. This could be it. Here comes the stack potentially. Two ticks over towards B. Looking for map control. There's two players now on the zone. They should be able to get it and force that round five. Will they be able to go for the full cap? And it doesn't look like anyone from Ultra is going to be bargaining for it. Faze, they win the offensive round. And now we go to the decider. All right, we get to figure out exactly how good Toronto's math is, right? They stopped. They gave that up for free. Uh, I think they were just doing the calculations of, hey, if we lose like X amount of lives, we're going to end up on offense for the round five. So they didn't even try to make that play to storm back on the point. They simply got outplayed. Atlanta Faye is not even super focused on the objective for the most part. They were just constantly applying the pressure, flooding through A Street, going on flanks, looking for spawn kills. But... You see from the side of Toronto, their math is correct. They do pull the defense for the round five, but, I mean, frankly, this has looked like a, a momentum-based game. That's two rounds in a row for FaZe, and in fairly dominant fashion for FaZe, they are sprinting full speed ahead right over towards the end. Oh, let's get the first blood. There's a war going on in the plane. Simp might just come out on top. There's a bounce behind the stairs there. Oh, my God, he calls in the streak. He's going to try to clear those players off of B or maybe underneath the plane, or is he looking to catch those players inside it? Hello, just dodges the Abizi. Nice aim, just unfortunate not to land that one. Again, you can see that cruise missile on the minimap. So, on the point we go. Here comes Simps Artillery. Chance, oh, it is making it rain here on Checkmate. 
And Insight, though, he's been able to lock down that A Street quite a few of these rounds now. He picks up another big two-piece, and, well, Selim's there to shut him down. But you're thinking about trades, but trades don't come through. Bance was calling in artillery-wise. Teammates are taking the gunfights, and now Kami's get shut down. A little bit of pressure over towards A for FaZe. They are going to be wrapped back, and Bant's still hanging around. You see, his idea is still going to be on those spawn kills, so a lot of things oh. happening on the map for the moment in the gunny for Varsities, at least for the first, but even still, all that gunny action just to not have map control is insight. He's been going crazy so far in this map five. Trying to slow him down as best they can. Bants is going to be able to drop the artillery now to get those players off of the B zone, and that's massive. Less than 40 seconds remaining now. One tick on A. The B capture slowly but surely happening, and Mbizi ears must be ringing as he makes his way through that artillery, but transition over towards the A street, and I like this. We've got a player on point inside with unfortunate timing, will be killed. We stop the clock for now, Kleenex. Oh, he wins two in the plane. And they've still got players on A. They're looking to overextend. Will these players be looking the right way at the right time? Kleenex in from behind, can't kill Simp as well. They've got to jump off the point for the time being, and that's massive kills from Ultra here on the defense. RC should be able to stop the point here. Let's get the kill on the Kleenex. Jump onto the point. Stop the clock. Oh my word. Huge timing on the insight. And that's that. Straight on a B they go, but the clock is not working in their favor, Chance. Oh, and you see Vance Cross. Actually, no, Abizi's able to catch him, so you get clearance. And actually, you just had Abizi starting to go over towards A. Arsity's stopping the clock, but you see the call from the team. It's, hey, if Arsity dies, that's fine. We're trying to make sure A gets nice and secure. Oh. But even still, Toronto with the pressure. Kleenex on the flanks. The final players for FaZe are going to be trapped, and the cleanup crew is there from Toronto. They take him down, keep it secure, and now there's just 10 seconds left on the clock. Kleenex wins a big one now. There's 10 seconds to make the run across map and get onto the B point. Insight's there! Insight's there! It was two massive kills. Three seconds to go. Is anyone able to contest? No. Once again, Toronto Ultra stun, shock and surprise us. They take the control from FaZe. The hell are we watching, Chance? This is insane stuff. That is the first respawn win Toronto Ultra has been able to find against FaZe all year long, and they do it in emphatic fashion. Big plays towards the end, and I'd say for FaZe, man, it seemed like they were just having problems getting on the same page, right? Our city is getting left to die over towards B. You're trying to double up, double up on the A site, but it seemed like just the SMG pressure. Toronto is able to apply a couple rounds. It was Bant always in your spawn, always causing problems, and in the final round, it was Kleenex's turn to make the same thing happen. Just a knowing style to play against Toronto. I mean, they took them to task, get that first respawn win, and what a wild looking stat screen too. The man that started out 0-8 ends up dropping 5,700 damage, but you see who matched them on the flip side? It was Kleenex. Bumped up those numbers just a little bit more. Hell out of a game, or hell of a game, out of Tobias Juliansson. Man is an issue. Wow, what damage dealt there. 3-2 to Ultron Checkmate. That gives him a 2-1 lead in this best of nine series. And my, my, my. There's a lot of chins being scratched quite vigorously across the Call of Duty world. Let's have a quick look at the replay of Toronto Ultra winning that map. I don't think they were as quite surprised as we were, or maybe you were as the fans, but oh boy, we certainly have a series on our hands, Chance. What a final this is shaping up to be. When we come back after the break, it's Apocalypse Hardpoint here in the Major 2, presented by Game Fuel.
The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Major 2 final still underway. Brought to you by Game Fuel. And Chance Toronto Ultra have stolen it, mate. Absolutely stolen it. What is going on with this squad right now? I, I mean, they're ridiculous. They're very, like, casual uh, about it, too. A ridiculous performance they've had so far. And just looking at the maps, so many interesting things just down the line. Like, Apocalypse is a wild map. We've never seen Toronto play it. Faze has only played it, like, twice, and they're one and one. The Express S&D gets through. That Checkmate S&D gets through. But if you're looking at their hard points, it is obviously ridiculous down the line. But Apocalypse is the map that they have played the least. I mean, maybe these teams know more about it than we do because they're going to be scrimming against each other when they play. But this, in my mind, is just an unknown quantity, right? It is a tough read because at this point for Toronto, I'm a believer, man. Like, I wasn't <laughs> expecting coming into the series, but they are looking crisp and clean. And even for way that first hard point win, yeah, Atlanta phase, they got the win. But I mean, they had like a, an 80 or 90 point lead that they were rocking with. And Toronto, even in that game, they made it interesting. Made it damn interesting. And again, the series is far from over. For you at home, friends, go to Scuff's Twitter page right now for a chance to win a Scuff controller of your choice. That means you get whatever thumbsticks you like. Don't worry. If they're domed, concave, whatever you'd like, friends, you can put whatever one's on. You can do that. It's of your choice, boys and girls. All right, breathe that one out. Crazy series so far. And again, Chance, you told us about this one. This is going to be very exciting. Again, the 1-1 one, one map count there for Atlanta phase. I believe this was Atlanta's pick, so that means that Toronto get to choose the side. Surely that means they spawn Temple side of the map, uh, which does make this really, really tough for Atlanta phase off the rip. We'll see how they go here, but onwards and upwards. Another map. Second hard point of this best of nine, about to get underway. Garrison was a bit of a bloodbath, but Lanta Faze coming out on top. And now we go to Apocalypse. Nope, I'll take it all back. Abizi, he and the boys will be spawning Temple side. Ultra, what, first hard point, maybe second as well. They could go down massively to start this one off, Chance. Let's see how we go. I was going to say, that has been a, a larger part of the conversation about this map. It is very difficult to manage that P2 hill. And I think maybe we might see a couple different teams working on some different ideas. If you're not able to push through those spawns, maybe just get posted up on the heady, even from the bad side, and just play for kills. But we'll see what idea Toronto has for it. And maybe the idea is to bully it out Hello. straight away. They're sending the squad trying to run through this direction. Someone's calling out. They've all crossed. They're looking for the back spawns. And maybe credit to FaZe. They've tried to read it, but Toronto, they just bullied out for the flip. Temple control for the moment in their hands, but still, they have more gunfights they need to win. For a shades of Hackney Yard there, man. Like the four-man hit. We flipped! We're good. We should be able to get the time. But again, the war still raging for the temple. Oh, and they got the spawns too. They got him. They got him, but Simps here. Inside wins a big one. Subs out for now. Two kills in a row. Looking to find Celium. Hello. Cell just gets to the top of his head. Still the hard point right now. Still being battled over. We are going to see FaZe in there for the time being. Kleenex just stops that. But again, the battle, the raging war that continues here in Temple. That's huge teamwork coming out of Ultra to still hold it. Spawn's looking a little bit funky, but that's that FaZe on the left-hand side of the map spawning way out in no man's land. They've got a long journey towards next. Oh, you got, yeah, I mean, they're pulling out all the stops right now. We'll just Ooh, leave manga. it at that, but hell of an opening break. You're looking set up for the full 60, and I'd say for FaZe, you have to take a hike around the map. Like, if you're simp, what do you even want to do? You try to flood in, like, through the broken side. You're dealing with some of the best head glitches in the game. If you're selling him, it is the exact same story, but simp might have found the opening dance. Well, he's not playing the window. He's playing down low. Ooh, they wow. get punished for it. The full 60 hill is an instant break. And well, all that work from Toronto, just to slip through the cracks just like that phase are ridiculous when it comes to breaking hits. Clinical precision on now with Cami, of course, our game fuel featured player. We'll see what he's going to do. And again, looking towards next half point as well. Going underneath the rafters by the blue barrels. Sims can have that covered down. The rest of the team slowly but surely making their way across. Four man hit now from way deep in no man's land from the spawn. Sims got eyes on. Krigs are up. Maybe able to get both of them. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Get caught by Wine. He's down and out. A beast is going to be up next. How many players can he take down? The answer is none. The hard point now may and well be in the hands of Toronto Ultra. There's one player above them on TVs. That's going to be Selian. But Chance, this has worked out in a massive way. They're certainly trying to make this progress happen, right? A couple players down low, and these are a <laughs> wild section of gunfights to try and get in phase. Gets them all the SMGs just bouncing around, bunny hopping inside the point. Again, you talk about the brakes being on point. You see it again. 
They're just making that look so easy and simp with the reads. I mean, the hill's so far away, but he just knows exactly where to look from. And Sam, even just making sure he keeps that pressure on one side of the map. He's trusting his teammates to lock down the actual point. Sell him. Doesn't matter what gun he has in his hands. He can shoot it very, very straight. Only able to pick up two before he falls, but his teammates still here, still inside the hard Breaks on breaks on breaks. Now for Atlanta Phaser, looking towards the rotation again. Wondering how the comms are going. It's about time we go for it now, ladies and gentlemen. And Astro Gaming, listen in with Atlanta Phase. Oh. I'm on shot. Scoop on me. It's fine. It's fine. You know my cam. Bent scoop. Bent sitting in the back. Bent sitting in the back. I'm on shot. And it's in one front. Two 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 I got one through in the back. Yeah, they're down in the back. Get this time. Get this time. It's like we're back. I've been through. We're strong front. We're strong front. Someone else get time. Someone else get time. I'm trying to get time. I'm trying to get time. I'm trying to get time. Maybe hit the left. I'm looking. Bench, bench, bench. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Bench, bench, bench. I'm saying down. Bench, bench, bench. Great. Still there. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I need to inside. No, bench in the back. Bench in the back. We're good. 20 seconds. Bench in the back. We're 20. We're 20. We should cover you. We should cover you. We got time. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm gonna go ammo. I'm in. They go for go for it. Get these ones. Get them behind. Get them behind. I'm trying to go Inside the back, one shot. Stay left, stay left, stay left. We're working this shit. I'm team edge, I'm team edge. Get a little dirt. I'm team the outer. Go on top, I'm team edge, I'm team edge, yes. He's behind, he's behind, 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 one shot, one shot. He's behind, 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 I mean, I don't have a psychology degree, but it does sound a little bit frantic. Maybe the most pressured phase is sort of felt, but hey, they're trying to deal with the pressure. That is eventually that clean four wipe, and it looks like they're reading the spawns as well. Maybe on the previous hill, just a bit of extra time. They tossed away, just not wanting to get inside the hill. But hey, you got a 70-point lead. Your gunny is certainly up for this one. And I mean, you look at Cammy, Game Fuel featured player, but sitting at double negative for the moment. Apocalypse, well, he has certainly had his struggles early on. Final 10 seconds now on this hard point. Don't bother Kami. Looking to clean these players out. Oh boy, he saw something there. He knows he saw something there, but the man is on another level right now. Good kill. There's a few more Atlanta phase members coming his way, and we go back towards the map, center of the map. And again, we've got Toronto Ultra in the bit of the driver's seat now. They do have spawns for the right hand side. What will phase do now? Not just to pick up that time in middle, which they did so well in the first set, but also go for the break. Asties does get dropped in the hard point, as we have seen previously. And it looks like Sim. On a battle for news. And inside, it looks like he's actually going to be playing the, the correct Teddy. Last time you had Toronto, just ignored that part of the map, didn't want to get set up on the head glitch, and they got broken on P2 instantly. But for now, they're looking to make sure this is the swing moment for them. A couple of players get cleaned up off the point. And I'd say for uh -oh. phase, if you can get these final 30 seconds, you're not too worried about it, man. You'll have a big enough lead that P2 just becomes less relevant. And more importantly, you see the players on Toronto starting to spawn out. That means all of that scrap time goes to phase. They get all the time in the world to try to break through Temple. They come through Temple looking for the treasures. They break on into the gold room, but Cammy's going to be there to stop him at the bottom of the staircase. Asties goes down. Nice push on the wrap, but again, his teammates got it covered. Bantz has it. So, Cammy holds the front side of the temple down. Atlanta Faze spawning way out towards the armory. They have a little bit of a journey to go on now, Chance, but this is a big opportunity now for, for Toronto Ultra to pull this back. Anytime Faze can chip away right here is the best time that they're going to be able to Sort of snuff out. You got a couple players working the back and they're taking their time to set it up. Insight though, opens it up just with the beams. Headshot gonna take him down and for FaZe, now you're just scattered. You're getting pinched in as well on the flank. Took a little bit too long and Cammy flanks you and punishes you for it. Last time they walked through the front to get the break. This time it looks like they're gonna be able to get nothing. Abizi even gets dealt with it. That is the near full 60 that Toronto Ultra absolutely needed. But even after all that, I mean, you just look at the scoreboard. They're still gonna be down by about 40, 50 seconds. They still have a long way to go, but for Cammy, he was double negative on a four spree now, looking to try and get hot. Abizi there though, to shut him down. Just about shuts him down. Look at that score line though. We are right back in this for Toronto Ultra. Vance does manage to go on a five spree. Will he stay alive for much longer? Nope, Selium there with a dime out. Just those shots ringing out in the distance. There's managed to land it still. Over the third we go, and again, down low. This is a good hard point for FaZe. Over the 200 point mark now. Sim, singed slightly. Here comes the push from down low. It's going to be a big kill there. Selium gets the immediate trade. 
Chance once again, back and forth on this point. This was Break City last time. Cell changed that. Currently on a three spree. Currently on a three spree for Toronto. I mean, this is basically the, the do or tie time of the game. Trying to flood through the front, but the setup right now, super clean. Selling though, can't win the gunfight, but the trades are certainly in. They're trying to flank, they're trying to go yeah. everywhere. And Simp kills them all, gets four basically in the feed, admittedly scattered, but the multi-kill pops up. Mr. Do-It-All, maybe he has a slow start, but they're in the middle of the games. He has been fierce. Number five for him, and he doesn't even need the streaks. They're just getting all this time phase. I mean, they're on a tear right now on Apocalypse. And again, the hard points prove to be the falling point for Toronto Ultra. For now, phase, just keep pushing this one. They've got themselves courtyard control. We're all good. Big kills coming their way. Bance is going to be up next. Simp just going to keep this spree going. Looking to find number seven. His teammates, though, meanwhile, fighting over the hard point. They're winning their individual gunfights. The Simp, there's number seven. Keeps the spree alive. There's another one to be had here. If he can get it, no need. He can't catch it in time. Atlanta phase. Buy the series up. Back and forth series we have, and Simp, well, just a, another feather in his cap. Phenomenal performance, and this is the best play that we're able to see. All four in the feed, one shot, stats, spinning in circles, killing them all, but my mind in that game, Miles, that P2 hill, you just can't afford to have get broken, right? Vance is trying to be the tree whisperer instead of just playing on top <laughs> of the ramp, Petty. If you're on P2 and you get broken that quick, well, in my mind, there's no way you're going to win Apocalypse. Mistakes like that can't happen, but if they do, again, we talked about before for Toronto, just hit that mental reset after every single map. Vance, do the breathing exercises, take your time, keep the comms clear, and it'll be good to go, but really, you just look at the stats, that is just all Sims game. Maybe his teammates did some more damage, but 26 and 15, ridiculous stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's just teamwork as well. Like, he may not be getting as much damage as his teammates, but he's going huge in the kills department. So the comms all good for Atlanta Phase. They bounce back. They tie us up 2-2 here in the Major 2 Finals. Chance with... It's a surprise. One thing to see Toronto here, to see them having such a good series against Atlanta Phase is another surprise. But now we go to another... We go to Moscow. We're going back to Moscow. We've got another search and destroy on our hands, mate. Uh, wait, let's just take a commercial break. I actually need a towel down because it's getting sweaty in here. I don't know how you're doing at home, but this series is starting to get a little too spicy. When we return after this quick commercial break, we'll call of duty here in the finals of Major 2. See you after this.
everyone and thanks for watching. Do you want more rewards? Well, click the rewards button below next to the diamond icon and don't forget to subscribe to the CDL YouTube channel for more CDL content. Welcome back, Call of Duty fans, to Major 2 Finals, brought to you by Game Fuel, Toronto Ultra, and Lana Phase continue onwards. Start up 2-2 now. Now, we have some fun for you stats fans. We have a lot of numbers yeah. coming your way after we take a quick look at the maps and modes. Coming up on the halfway point of this majestic best of nine, Moscow Search and Destroy up next, and a raid control. Yay for the Toronto fans. Express S&D. Oh, who knows how that one goes. Checkmate Hardpoint. Maze will probably have that. And Checkmate S&D, if we have to go the full nine, God only knows how this one ends. But with the maps and modes out of the way, let's take a quick look at these fun stats. Talking about search and destroy chance. And I heard the yay from you in the background there, mate. Let's talk game two versus phase from Toronto's perspective. I mean, I love the numbers, right? It's Cammy, keep in mind, for that first map, right? He got the artillery early on, started off 7-0, had a fantastic game, but I think Insight also deserves a ton of credit in the Search and Destroy apartment. Had a solid game, and that is just par for the course for him. I mean, his KD overall in league is like a 1.64, so 8-5 is normal stuff for this guy. And keep in mind, I've said it already at least twice throughout the series, the final two S and D maps we have are not phases finest. So I think there's a lot of pressure here. And well, that's why you see the cracks of the armor. 0 and 3 in search in this major, the KDs are not showing it. And that blows my mind. I, I would never be prepared to see Simp with a double negative KD, especially not in his bread and butter game mode. But this is the situation we find ourselves in, Miles. And for the next map, I don't want to call it a must win for FaZe, but it very well might be. We're going into a Moscow. They have the best record in the game on this map, right? They are 5-0. They've been perfect all year long. They might need to get it too, because or Toronto in this like what tournament so far, 6-0 in search and destroy. They've been perfect. They're 3-1 against Faze, FaZe in search, and Moscow is also a map that they like to play. They haven't looked quite as clean throughout the year, but so far this tournament, Toronto certainly has. Everything looking so different here in the finals of the second major. It's like when you create a character in an RPG, you're like, what do I want to be? I want to be strong and agile, or I want to have really good search and destroy ability, or really good respawn. You can't have it all. You have to find that balance. And so far this team for Lena Faze, like control may be their game mode this major, but search ain't it. I think a must win chance is a very fair assessment. Because again, like Express coming up later, that could be a loss. And if we have to go to raid, I mean, that is Toronto's playground. Let's find out what happens on a Moscow and first, like, though. I mean, you're exactly right. Like, even for the controls, like, FaZe has been, what, like, perfect basically throughout the major until they played against Toronto. Like, Toronto's been taking them to task, but here we go. <laughs> Quick and easy gunfights, and that's the start Selium's going to need. Racks both of them oh. down, and, well, just like that, if you're Cayman Insight, I mean, I don't know. Good luck. Have fun. I hit the skirt, man. I had to. The biggest skirt right off the rip. He's exchanged. I mean, wins the fight. I love that. Big start from Atlanta phase, but now it's a 3v2. Bricks control from Selly Minabizi. Meanwhile, Asti's pushing those players out on the flank. Ami making his way through top. Eskies, and now here comes the push. Ami runs out with a hail of gunfire. Selly wins it 1v1 as well, and it's an easy round for Atlanta phase to start things off here on Moscow. In phase, not a team likely to get clutched on in search and destroy almost ever, but especially so on Moscow. You see, as soon as they get the bomb down, it's just all about the bricks control. That is such a just a, a ridiculous power position, such a nice little lane that you can have access to. Once you get control of that, you're feeling that much more comfortable for the rounds. But obviously, that literally just comes down to the first bloods selling popped off two free and easy kills for him. And Toronto, I mean, maybe you want to match aggression with aggression, but if Bance is the bomb care and he's by himself. It's looking like Toronto is going to be playing for picks. See if they can get it done. Bounce is going to be there early on, but that flash is going to slow him down just a slight. We've got a 2-2 split. Two players making their way through that boulevard towards the B-bomb site. Number eight and number seven, Kleenex and Insight. They're going to run across a wild Abizi soon. Will he find that first blood that he is so famous for? Or will Ultra have something here? And here we go. Winds up. There's Bounce. Here's another. And what do you know? Abizi finds the first. Still traded out immediately. Asti's with another clean trade. Atlanta phase continues to tick like a Swiss clock here on Moscow. The Swiss certainly know how to make a fine piece of equipment, just like FaZe knows how to play search. Again, the rat backs are on point, the communication there, and they have no time wasted. Cami trying to catch a player on the cross, and Selim maybe is going to give it to him, but you saw the shoulder he just threw, and I think they actually know. They're throwing with Dave Selim. Talk about getting the information. 
I mean, the quickest shoulder of all time. Just leave Bance in a one versus three, and well, they're gonna know exactly where he is. He's trying to hump these players down, but the movement is insane from Cell, as the start from him is equally ridiculous. I believe five and zero oh right now from the kid. Seemingly unkillable, and if he wasn't a problem, Simpanastis were there to help get it done. Another truly clinical round from Atlanta Phase as Ultra have yet to really find their flow here on Moscow. Two to nothing. Or spree for sell. A hit was not good for on offense or defense, mate. Let's see what Ultra can do now on the defense once again. Well, I like where Ultra's head is at, right? If FaZe loves to play aggressive, just stack up at his sight. So they're triple planted over here. There is no energy wasted. And you see the actual split coming through. Insight just needs to stay alive. He's successful at that. And for Toronto, they have Bricks control. You got a player going on the flank and Kleenex with the aggression. It pays off. And you make sure you keep this outer lane in control. So FaZe, they know they can't go to A. They're looking for that fast wrap. But you see what Insight's been doing this entire time. He's at least got that backstreet locked down. So... They can afford to give up the plant as long as they trust themselves in this 4v3 retake. Quickly, will they do the retake, though? BZ catches wind of one. There was another player in the window. He's not going to repeat that, but you know that the entire Ultra roster is here. BZ singed up on the Semtex. Meanwhile, on the street, Simp. Oh, my Simp. Can he find three? No chance, Simp. Not a hope in hell can he get all of them, but my God, Atlanta phase. They didn't need to worry about the retake. Simp just finds three absurd kills in the middle of the street. His teammates come through, and that's the third round in a row. And feast your eyes on this, friends. Just a pop-off machine. I uh, Just ungodly. There is no right rhyme or reason why Sim should ever be able to get that done. But it's Sim, so of course he can. You need the bounce back. You need to win on the Moscow. And Sim doing a good job to try to make it happen. That was a great counter strat coming in Toronto. Stack up on the site. Kleenex makes a good call, but... The street control that they had early on, I mean, they just gave it up at the worst possible time. And Simp found the, the very small opening, threaded the needle, and you talk about aggression. Both teams matching up at A. Headbutt at A. Here we go. Who's going to crack first? Simp. Immediate in and out. No problem whatsoever. Kleenex devastated. Selium takes the trophy down as well. That means nades will start to make it through. Bombs making on the wrap. And oh my god, it's perfection almost from Atlanta face here on the defense. One player goes down. Kami now versus Abizi with bomb in hand, trying to wrap through. Insight is in a world of hurt. He's going to get cut down. 1v3 situation now for Kami, and this is a dire spot to be in. Both bomb sites covered. Kami is not in a good place with 40 seconds on the clock. Talk about a team that is not wanting to make any mistakes. They're not even going hunting. They have the power positions. They have control of the map. Why would you ever give it up? And... Even Simp, we know he's capable of winning the gunfights. If he's not feeling it, he's backing down, and now you're just trapped. You're inside of Eskies. You come out this direction, you get killed from bricks, and playing with their food before they take them down. Predators on Moscow right now is phase 4 no perfection. First bloods, if they get them, the rounds are easy. If they don't, well, someone's sure to make the play, but just another bully strat over towards A. You go for that head button. I think it was Salim that passed the information over towards Simp, who said, thank you very much. I'll take my fifth kill. And well, if you're looking at the scoreboard on the flip side, 0-8 combined from Bance and Insight. And, well, it's not much better from the other two. I mean, that round was perfection. Patient, pixel, perfect placement of all his players on the defense. And quite frankly, they're going to try to do it now. On offense, two men through the middle. It's going to be one player in towards the A bomb site. That's going to be Simp here. And then we look towards Selium down towards that boulevard. Flash check reveals one at the very least now for Kleenex. Ian Bantz looking to defend this. Kami from the inside of White. And that's going to be insight number seven, smack bang in the middle of the map, looking at those players on rotation. And he saw at least a couple of feet. Selium squaring up for the fight. Insight, he ain't trying to start nothing just yet. Kami gets the first blood over by the A bomb. And this is an interesting looking round chance. It's on Simp, I think, to actually make the play. So if you go street, well, Insight's here. A little bit wary about taking Aww. the gun fights, and he peeks for a moment and just gets shredded. All of a sudden, 3v3, and well, now Simp doesn't even need to make the play. You got a couple players going for the full flanks, but street control in their hands, and 30 seconds time is certainly ticking, but face comfortable in these situations. And frankly, I mean, again, Simp and Bance, maybe they bump heads, but Simp playing the off angle. This bomb should be planted short. Kleenex could maybe catch Simp out. That would be ideal right now for Bantz. Nah, Simp's going to get these kills. This has, That's massive. Oh, no! Bantz plays spoiler! 
He just manages to land that one. So now it's a 3v2 on the retake. Arsatis inside the bomb site. Selium just on the outskirts by the yellow building now. Kleenex is already on the defuse. Is Arsatis going to pick this? Is he going to take a little look inside? Is Bance going to cover it? Cami does get the kill on the Selium, And with that, the bomb defusal expert is in. The wires have been snipped. Toronto finally get on the board. And Benjamin Bant, I mean, talk about a player stepping up to the plate and the reason why. Cammy, you know, phenomenal shots from him. Good Lord. Talk about threading the needle. But that was the moment. If Simp finds that kill on the street and he's able to stay alive, that round is phases and they make it very easy. But Bant makes a, a huge play. It's the only kill he has, but it secured them the round. A very long comeback to go. Toronto's going to be thinking about it. And, well, they've tried to play for picks so a few rounds on offense. They've tried to bully out A. They've had no success. Looks like strat number three coming out on board. But a gunfight straight away. Cami gets the win. Man advantage for Toronto that Ibizi instantly trades out. But the trades back and forth. The teamwork for Toronto right now on point. The teamwork Toronto tucked the tiny terrors in. Austin's, what the hell is that angle? What the hell? What is he seeing? Now to the window he goes. Bance, not sure if he heard much there, but he could see a shadow or two. Oh, that's so unfortunate for us. He's now at least Selium now in a 1v3. Selium's got to do a lot of work from this position. Can Insight find his first kill of the, of the match? As he makes his way back over towards B. Trying to play the defense and Insight's going to hold the flank. Oh, there he was. He's a bit of a duel, but still A bomb going to be planted. Sel can find this one kill. That's great, but against those other players by the bomb side, chance is going to be hard. And he thought he was trapped in. As soon as the bomb's planted across the map, he's just going hunting, trying to kill Insight. And well, Insight doing the correct thing. Don't give anything away. And selling. now you're officially oh, trapped. Oh, oh. That's Bant taking him down. Making sure you seal the deal towards the end. But that's the kind of round for Ultra you like to see. You play over towards B. You know what BZ loves to play over towards Globe. And well, after Cami gets the first blood, as long as you trade out of BZ, you're going to be good to go. Two rounds in a row. Now for Toronto Ultra. Funnily enough, they're doing this without Insight getting a single kill. I mean, this is Mr. Consistent for them in Search and Destroy, but the only bad map you could say he has had all year, funnily enough, it was on a Moscow, and it was against FaZe. They ended up going 5-6. and six. Might need to figure something out. Might need to figure it out quick as FaZe back on the attack towards A. Here we go. Typical FaZe aggression. Trying to overwhelm the A-bomb site. Oh, my. Abizi. Able to find something here. Bounce with a quick trade. Bomb does drop. Sammy finds his. Over to Kleenex now versus Selium. Selium just behind the chessboard. He will manage to escape. Asti's now bringing the reinforcements forward. 3v2. 3v1. 3v none. Oh my Ultra. God. Third round in a row. The snapper on point. Man. And you talk about phase. I mean, they're almost playing without a care in the world, right? You got it easy. Sliding around for free inside of Eskies as if Toronto doesn't have their headsets cranked. They're going to hear that from a mile away and... Even though they got the first blood, the trades were certainly there. And again, that outer bricks control on point. Maybe inside doesn't need to get a kill. Maybe this is fine. Maybe he's just spotting out the information. <laughs> yeah, he is. You got Kleenex and Cami shooting like they have been. At least these past few rounds, maybe you're good to go. But once again, not a ton of success on offense towards A for Toronto. They're doing the same sort of strat they did last time, except this time Cami, instead of playing mid-map, he's waiting for that flank to come through all the way around the phase. They're not taking that bait, right? They're leaving two players over towards A, nice and stagnant. They've got the street control in the hands of Arsides. And I think, frankly, they're probably expecting the B push. I mean, they don't have eyes on the boulevards. So they can't see them across the street, but they will be able to hear that. Abizi definitely heard four feet. It carpet. Last check, doesn't find anything. Bance, oh my god, he was out of there, dude. He dipped. Insight finds his first kill of the round on Arsides by the boulevard. And now Abizi looking to reinforce the flank, not let that player through. Ultra yet to fully take control of the bomb site. And this is tense. Ultra have made their way forward. Meanwhile, Cami's on a very scenic flank towards the A site. Selian will be watching him if the time comes to it. Still, numbers up. Cami gets one. And that hurts a lot. That's a 3v2. 25 seconds on the clock. Both members of phase went towards A on the defense. And that's going to be an unfortunate sigh. That, uh, there it be. Here we go. Ultra, 3v2. And they hold it. Oh, and you already got inside. He did get spotted, but I think he saw Labizi as well. Wow. Labizi, you know, loves hunting down the kills, and he's going to get it. 2v2 immediately. You got the duo working together Whoa. inside. They line up. They stack up. They get dropped. Toronto Ultra, four rounds in a row, and this is one that they played perfectly. 
Kleenex clean shots. The bait and switch doesn't make a difference if you're funneling through, but the way that they just played that, Miles, they got what? Inside gets the pick on Arcees. They obviously got spotted in the window. They just sat still for 30 seconds until Cammy May knows noise over towards A. It drags the phase players back because we've seen Toronto play this map. They will go back and forth between bomb sites, rotate nonstop. This time, they just faked phase out of their minds. The juke was there in phase. I mean, they're just stuck to Old Faithful. Once again, aggressive oh, towards A and Kleenex just waiting for it. They're making this look easy. Now he finds another one, and it is falling to pieces right now for phase. 4v2, Kleenex, can he get number seven? Yes, he can. That's going to be streaks. Arsties will stop him. Arsties finds two kills. That's a 1v1 right now. Insight on the fast rap. Looking to take... No, no, can he get it? Round number five in a row. He does get it. Ultra. They keep on trucking. Five to four, it's five straight rounds. One more now for the win. Chance, what are we seeing here? Phase are collapsing. That's a moment, by the way, where I think Toronto needs to look at each other and go, all right, let's not do that again. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If we give up an opening, any one of these players on Phase can just gun us to sleep. But they got the job done. And again, you got Phase. what? Just doing the same old strats, not mixing things up. They're getting picked apart in these past few rounds. Kleenex has just been gunning players left and right. And now we go back to, uh, again, just playing for picks. A couple players over towards B and a BZ. He's got a little bit of support from Arcides, but mostly by himself. He mixes up the angles quite a bit, but you have to imagine Toronto are going to be prepared and check every possible angle. Beasy's played. Beasy knows. Beasy knows. He's played this spot quite a few times, though. I mean, you have to assume that Toronto are going to check. He gets quick flashed. Slight reposition. Vance. That head of his tagged up heavily at Beasy. It's a few more bullets and he's down and out. Defense will shuffle. Asti's watching the street. The crossfire there from Simp to get it done. Simp will not be able to land the shots. But immediate transition now from Ultra over towards the A bomb site. And that's where Selium comes in. Can he force the round 11? Find these kills. There's the peak. Kleenex finds just a tag or two to push him back. Again, the defense shuffling quickly. Selian wins a big fight. He can't quite find any more, though. It's 2v3. Phase. A little bit of a run to make. There's a gunfight happening over by Bricks. Kleenex recovers the bomb. Coming up on 20 seconds remaining. Kami watching Eskies. But the phase pinches on chance. Here we go. They're just so trapped. It's going to be a hit from every single angle at the same time. Everyone, that triangle, they are just in the pincer maneuver right now. Player out of bricks, though, needs to win his gunfight. Kami looking for his. He finds his first, and Kleenex going to get the trade to turn this in to the 1v1 going against Arcities. So 1v1, Kleenex for the map, Arcities for the round 11. He's got full bomb site control. Eyes across everything. Kleenex, though. Oh, he, he pinged it. He pinged it. Arcees is on the defuse. Arcees is going to go for the defuse right now. He get this done. Kleenex, he's got no idea what's about to befall him. He calls in the artillery. But the bomb gets defused. They use the artillery. They use the ping. And now it's around 11. Arcees with the melons. Oh, my chance. Unbelievable round out of phase. Incredible composure. Oh, and just players, I mean, what, can't count to seven and a half seconds in their head to let him get that through. Arcides with the biggest brain play, like, on the year. But honestly, the only one he even had, that is just dropping the ball with the streak. But to round 11, we go. Ridiculous stuff, and it is just head smash towards A. Good luck, have fun. They're just trying to do it with the gunny. It's old faithful. Here we go. Gunny's up. Abizi's there first. First blood for Abizi. The kill goes his way. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, Cammy's looking to even the score. Can he find it? No, he cannot. Arcity's too strong. It's a two versus four now. Ultra is starting to look a little bit weak at the knees. Insight, two and seven. The artillery failed them in the round before, and now they're going to have to do this alone. Slowly but surely, etching towards the B bomb site. Abizi. Looking to continue the dominant streak he's had. Bance is the last player left alive. And it would be an absolute miracle if he could land it. And not a chance. Atlanta phase. They just about managed to close the round. 6-5 after Toronto pulled it all the way back. Mate, we've got a real grand finals on our hands here. A true I, yeah, grand you, finals, mate. <laughs> this is a treat. You can't let that happen. I'm sorry. You just cannot let that happen. You just let RCDs clutch up in a situation where you get a streak on an open bomb site. You throw that away. I mean, maybe give RCDs a pay raise. Every dollar he gets is every dollar he has earned. I mean, you just went on one of the best comebacks we have seen all year long. 
to drop the ball in the grand finals and you can see the frustration. I mean, hey, it's a marathon of the series. It was a must win map for FaZe. They got the job done, but maybe that goes back to the mental reset, man, for Toronto. They're going to have to find a way to bounce back because that is one of the most tilt worthy rounds uh, I think we have seen in Call of Duty of a long time. They had that in their fingers and just let it slip. I mean, even with what? There was like 15 seconds left, 17 seconds left. Like, he could have just called in the streaks, man. Anyway, quick look at the stats. The shoulda, woulda, coulda that we will no doubt spend in Reddit and all the supplementing pieces of Call of Duty content. We'll look at that round for a while to come. I mean, not quite as historic or memorable as, as the ace that accuracy got, but a stinger nonetheless right now. Massive, massive work from Abizi on the first button in those final rounds. And, woof, chance, as I said, man, we really got ourselves a grand final. Sim, big work from him. We'll take a look at some of his, uh, he got a three piece. I think we're gonna be showing in just a brief moment, but hey, I mean, after that one, we go to control after this, but yeah, this was a humongous round, round three from Sim, dude. What a play. All in all, incredible work from FaZe. I mean, the plays are great, but again, this is early on. This was very much a momentum-based thing. And even looking at the social soundboard, maybe they're hyping up Sint, but I guarantee you this was before the, the fifth round <laughs> kicked through because the story of the game was not Sint in the slightest. It might have been him early on, but it was very much Toronto goes on a tear in Arsides. Just the saving grace for the team. But, hey, dap up your heroes and make sure you thank Arsides. That's the reason he's on the team. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break, friends. Toronto Ultra Atlanta phase. This grand final continues. When we return, we're going to control for Raid. It's going to be a lot of fun. You do not want to miss this one. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty Major 2 Final, brought to you by Game Fuel. We are coming up on our next map. It's going to be another control. We're going to raid Toronto Ultra versus Atlanta Phase. Phase with the one map lead in the series, sitting at 3 2 so far. Here is the. I mean, this is a saga, mate. This is, uh, this is going the distance. But from here on out, Chance, this is where things get very good phase wise. I mean, raid control has been a fantastic map for Toronto Ultra, but Phase have just been uh, unbeatable, disgusting all across the control modes. This is their stats coming in today. I mean, that is all true. If we ignore the fact that the one control map we've had in the finals, uh, well, Toronto beat them. So, I mean, the stats have been great, but the finals is a different breed. You got Toronto completely prepared. I mean, we're going now into a raid control where FaZe, they've played Toronto three times on this map. They have 3 0 would them every single time. So, you have to imagine with insight and advance towards the bottom of the KD, uh, on at least control for the map we're going into. It's certainly phase favored. They've certainly had their number in the past, but again, I don't know how much of a believer I am in that. Toronto's been playing out of your minds, but screw the stats. None of this matters in my mind, right? <laughs> Toronto, they are trying to bounce back from a tilt-worthy Moscow S&D that they let slip through the cracks, right? You got someone to be easy and simp, just dapping up RCD saying, thank you very much. We will not let that happen again, sir. Just doing their duty. But I mean, maybe Toronto, the breathing exercises, bands kicking through, getting talked up from Marky B and just being like, look, we have come this far. That is a map that FaZe was perfect on. If we lose it, just ignore it, right? Try to wash it away, bounce back for the raid control. But again, it, it takes a lot of energy to make things happen. FaZe, 
a team on this map that has been damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. It still may be a very strong map for Toronto Ultravert. Man, I mean, you have to think of what they've gone through today. They've truly gone through hell today. They take down Rocker, they take down Empire, and now they have to just try to go through Atlanta phase. And as we have it, a very slight technical issue getting a player into the lobby, we'll get the lobby back up and running ASAP. Hope you're enjoying the show, friends. This is seriously going to be a, a much longer one. We'll see how we go, though. Again, sorting out a quick technical issue. We'll get into raid control in just a brief moment. Quick commercial break. Until then, get yourself a quick drink. Stay hydrated. It's very hot here in Los Angeles. And wherever you are is lovely as well. We come back. Raid control. Fingers crossed. The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Well, looking at FaZe team, I think the story for me so far has been what? The expectation that FaZe is going to be on point from start to finish. And, well, frankly, the way the Garrison Hardpoint started out, it looked to be the case. But Toronto, they have been ridiculous all day long. And for FaZe, it is very much a focus up time. It is get ready. They are currently in the midst of an absolute war. And frankly, what we saw from the first control was a bloodbath handed out by Benjamin Bantz. 1.56 KD, but it's not like his teammates were too shabby, right? Kleenex, 31 kills, had 6,100 damage that game. They fried on checkmate, but we're going over towards a raid control where, again, in this specific matchup, it has been a raid control every time. Phases 3 0 them every time. Toronto can't let it happen not afford to drop another map and take too big of a dip in the series because they're getting geared up, warming up those hands, getting ready to go. I think I'm back, Charles. Sorry, I dropped out there just for a brief moment. Uh, I was getting shades of MW, bro. You're going to have to solo cast on a map again. But here we go. Map number six, Raid Control. It's good to be back. I missed you, my friend. Uh, you, I think you nailed the analysis there. I'm just going to sit down, get my feet up, ready for a damn fine round of control here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Major continues again. 3-2 overall. The Atlanta phase just about stealing the lead there, handing Toronto Ultra their first S&D loss. Bit of a surprise, but we'll see how well the Toronto Ultra mental game goes as they try to 
Coupre after that tight loss. Here we go, Chance. Control on Raid. Once again, Toronto did this earlier, but from the offensive side, just triple hitting mid, and well, that gives you access to the rest of the map. Simp, no way is prepared for this much aggression. He gets taken down, but while Simp dies on one side of the map, towards the other phases there, working towards the B point off the rip, and for the moment, they've got all the angle coverage, right? Selling is taking care of pool steps, his teammates inside the actual hill. Kills get traded back and forth, and all of a sudden, Varsity is just hanging out on the point. Waiting for a gunfight. There's brutal efficiency on the trades from both teams right now. Sim managing to find the pick by stairs. I mean, wonderful shots. Has to take care of Arsties, though. The B zone is about to hit his second tick. Oh, just there. In the nick of time, the tick is stopped, and they will be able to drain that, z that B zone. See, that second third there would have been tremendous for Atlanta phase to pull that off the start. And it's on the flank. Going to find these player kills. They know they're spawning a little funny now, so comm should be there. But uh-oh, Benjamin Vance. In from behind, the potential for the two pieces here. There's the first where Selium eyes are on. He's taking a dip in the cool LA weather. And he's going to be sleeping with the fishes now. Bance finds two from a top bedroom. Yeah, concrete boots on his feet. He is going to surely fall over towards A, though. One ticket progression our way through. Kleenex is going to fall, and I think that might be enough to seal the deal. You got it double stacked, and A is going to fall. So... As the situation stands right now, phase they get just under two minutes on the clock to work with. And Mbizi, well, he's already got kitchen control, and he's got Simp, his duo, here to work together. But while their teammates are falling, because keep in mind, bedroom control, Toronto's been hanging out the entire time. They're just looking for kills, and it looks like a couple of them get cleared out. Simp, though, still alive, looking for insight. Can't quite find him, but obviously the reinforcements are here. 16 lives, 15 now for Atlanta phase as well. Kleenex finds two, Cami finds another one. Still has money controls, Asties, that's going to be great for now. But over towards the defense, you've still got two members now of Ultra spawning over by there. No one in position to pick the spawn kills. Asties wins a nice big one. Up and about he goes. Ultra. Have to worry about Bance. Bance. Whoa! Gets it. That's his fifth in a row. Five and one so far for Bance. He's been on the flank almost all game long. Can't quite get it done against Asties though. Big stuff from him on a four spree. Now finally Atlanta phase. They clean out the attackers from the front. Looking to regain kitchen. Looking to get on the B zone. Arcee has been a machine. I mean, he's dealing with the flank players through kitchen. Arcee is still alive on point. He's found his corner. They got the trophies up, and they got three players here. The flood potentially in through money window. Arcee is ready. He finds the first. Second flies out to challenge, but the teamwork on point. Double challenge through as well. Simp a little bit too late to the party. It's going to be Toronto with another nice stop. 11 lives to six. Make it now 10. Toronto with a slight advantage phase. Got to take a time. Got to set up for the play, and they're doing exactly that. Simp working the ring side of the map, everyone else working through bedroom. Comes the bedroom push. And that's where the magic happens, but for insight, he's getting it done from a distance. No lives left from Atlanta phase. Oh, my word! Insight can't kill everyone, but he damn well tried. BZ. Further forward position. Nice exchange. Oh, what a stick! Kleenex lands it! And that's a massive kill. Simp's the last player left alive now. It's 15 seconds on the clock, and this is not going to be an easy play. Massive beams, oh ridiculous God. beams from Simp. The Toronto take the round. How good are Toronto Ultra if Simp is shooting like that with the 74U and they're winning these rounds almost comfortably? I, I mean, maybe there's an example why, right? Teamwork on point, double challenge out of money window, one guy coming in through garden. Teamwork on point, we had Bance flanks, we had Kleenex flanks, we had bedroom control on defense for Toronto. I mean, this is the first round they've won on raid control against FaZe in quite some time. And by that, I mean, I think ever. <laughs> they have been just a force to be reckoned with today. Obviously, a long way to go on offense, tripling up, heading towards A first. I'm going to cut through mid. Big tags onto Selium across there, but it's going to be the tiny terrorists that open up the kill feed. Oh, can't keep it going, though, as Cami. He drops both of them. Selium now, the only defender towards A and Insight. Coming for him. He's hounded him. Flash lands. Selium's in trouble. Still, the reinforcements starting to arrive. Onto the A zone we go. Quick contest and sell. Man, he is as close as he could possibly be to these players. Selium is still going. He lands both those kills and now a BZ finding the kill feed as well. Can sell keep the kills going? Three in a row from a situation where his life was flashing before his eyes. That was absurd and he's still alive. Still on the defense. One more to be had. Bans. Oh my God. Finally, the giant is brought down. Finally, you can start capping A. I don't even know how. That is the toughest kill we have seen potentially all year long. Selium just, he does not die, but 
Eventually, as soon as he does, after player number six is there to take him down, Toronto get a bit of clearance on the point. RC is just fighting for Ooh. it, though. They stop the capture on A. Still defending the zone, and at the very least, maybe just, you know, draws Toronto back. Make sure that they're still stuck in spawn, because keep in mind, while all of this insanity has been happening over towards A, Simp has been posted up inside the bedroom. He had that complete control, and... Well, even if you're thinking about the full wraparound, Selim, I mean, he's got to be aware of this, but Bans has him weak. Selim, one shot once again. Bans should get the cleanup here. Dell left unaware. Bans is going to find that. Get basketball control. Now you're looking to make the push. They've managed to clean out quite a lot of members of phase. There's one left on the defense. Still have to worry about those players on spawn, but it's Arsatis, and old oh, baby is. Arsatis, so close to killing Kleenex as well. Through the jungle now, Simp swings. Got to get onto that B zone ASAP. Two members there of Toronto Ultra going for the quick cap. Nice kill from Cell. Lines one. Cami drops as well. Cellium having an incredible map so far. Two kills though in the kill feed as Bants on a five spree. Stopped now by Arcities. You're not going to give up that map control just yet. Still have Kleenex there in kitchen side. It's on a map pressure though. Oh. Kleenex is still causing problems. Canny wins his one. Well, that actually, that's the clean four down. They do get the closer spawn to the hill, so the foot race, well, they're going to be in time for it, but that's two bodies already on point, and Vance knows it. They need another round of kills, and they'll be good to go. Streaks now for Asti's trying to close these players out through mid. Awesome inside, Tiki. He's going to be in sight. Asti's does manage to kill Kami. Kleenex now from behind. Perfect oh, timing. Four kills in a row. Five kills in a row for Kleenex, and straight onto the B zone he goes. Waiting for the push. Still has the pressure ring from money. Now the player's in from behind. Kami's going to gear up for the fight. Toronto looking to close the round out now. Last minute contest from Atlanta phase. Simp lands one. Can he find any more? Yes, he finds the trade. But once again, ultra. Too many players on point. It's two rounds in a row. Oh my goodness, Chance. What? I mean, this kill was ridiculous. But what is going on? I thought control was going to be phase. This game mode will start to finish. Dude, every time we're spectating a player on phase, they're doing something ridiculous. Like, this is when he spent a year and a half one shot and he gets the best play of the game. We saw another life from Cell where he's one shot, picking up double kills, pool steps. We got Simp beaming kids cross map with the 74U and they're down 2 0. Toronto Ultra woke up this morning. I don't know what they had for breakfast, what they found, who they prayed to, but they have been insane on the day. Phase back on the attack, though. I mean, this is how the first control went. Keep in mind, and this is a, a little bit of a better start from Phase, but it was Toronto that went up two rounds to none. Phase worked on the comeback, but Toronto clutched up ah. in the round five. So, Phase has been here before, but this just seems different right now on raid. You're right. Selim celebrated a birthday over by ring. That's wild. That's insane. A year and a half on the point. See if they can do it again. A zone starting to be captured now for Atlanta Phase. Two of them on the point, looking to get this done fast, but BZ cannot control mid-map. Kleenex, playing some of the finest Call of Duty I think he may have ever played in his career, and what a day to show up, so to speak. Selium though, desperately trying to pull this one back. The ferocity of FaZe cannot be understated. A zone is basically gone. Two minutes, ten, on the clock. 24 lives. A long time to work with here to pull themselves back. Well, Toronto was in this situation on defense a few rounds ago. Same thing can be said for FaZe, and Toronto clutched up. FaZe looking for the pressure. Again, they're going for that map spread, or maybe Selim's going to double up with Simp, but they're trying to play around these kills. Good news is you do have better control, and well, the move being made through Kitchen, but you can see for FaZe, they're sort of turtled up for the moment. They're looking for an opening, and that is one they cannot find. Bance is there for their response. 19 and 9, by the way, from him. Bancy Castle in full force. And still oh. Faze trying to force it through mid. That might be their opening. Towering over the players there in kitchen. Abizis, though, he's in. Finds the kill. Opening now through money. And there it is. Insight wins a big one. Immediately traded. Sim's going to push for the basketball control. Stop those players coming down the staircase at the back side of the map. You are going to start to capture B. That was on a 5 spree. 16 16 overall. Man, he has been playing wild. It's insane to say. Like, it may not be one of these massive fights, but Toronto are just keeping it tight, keeping it together. And Cami clean these players out. No, Cell finds another one. Trade from Kleenex. Oh, I don't want to get that trade, though, as Kleenex finds another one. He's playing unbelievable right now. Sim snaps up next in the kitchen. Kleenex trying to bait him out. Hands of steel right now. Will Sim be able to push the fight now? Onto the Great Dane as the fight makes us way forward. But what is going on? Why is Kleenex still alive? Why has no one killed him? Five in a row. Kleenex 
Chance, what in the f is going on? I mean, on today, Kleenex has just oh! been straight up the best what? player in the world. Seven spree for him. Finally gets shut down. But holy hell, what a performance. And then, well, finally, Kleenex dies. But insight, the beams on point. The defense reigns supreme. Even the nade can't take him down. And, well, Kleenex, you see, he's back in the action. He's already bedroom control. He's causing problems. Winning every gunfight in style. Whoa. He can't be stopped, Miles. He is too good right now. 27 and 16. Make it 28. 29 coming around the corner. Nah, still. He's playing pretty good as well. But, my God. Talk about going big when you need to. Talk about going absolutely huge in a map. You desperately needed to see FaZe win. Toronto Ultra go plus Ultra there on raid control. They tie the series up 3-3. Three to three. At Kleenex, it, it cannot be said, right? We have talked about Ibiza so many times throughout this year and just being like, he's that aggressive entry SMG, wins the gunfights he's not supposed to, takes over and dominates. He's been getting completely shut down. Kleenex fulfilling that role. And look at these gunfights, disgusting. This was the seventh spree. He dies, comes off respawns, and immediately goes back to bedroom. Gets the lockdown control. Kleenex, I mean, the pickup again, that the story he has to even end up in the league is one of the most insane ones we have in Call of Duty. He has showed up so far in Championship Sunday. I mean, his KD, his stats have to be some of the most wild that we have seen. 4,700 damage just about towards the end. He dominated the first control. He dominates this control as Ultra get the 3-0 win. I mean, just a shocking performance. Uh, completely nutty stuff. I mean, again, dude, on Championship Sunday at Kleenex, he has looked like the best player in the world. And Atlanta looking stunned, shell-shocked after that performance. Now for Ultra, I mean, it's 3-3. Three it's first to five. You are far from finished here in this finals. Let's uh, have a quick look now at the social soundboard powered by Astro, because, man, I'll bet the timeline is on fire right now. I'm not looking, but there you go. There's a lot of cool tweets there. In the top left, that's a nice one there. There's a lot of love, though, for Ultra. Even formal there, saying Birmingham Bants has made the return. Wow, what a throwback to the CWL days. The Yama Oh, my God. Never forget. Ultra, though, they do have to now play another hard point, and the hard points have not been going nasty, but our kings of the north now tie the series up against the mighty Atlanta phase. Time for a very quick commercial break when we can turn when we return. This series continues. We're going the distance here, friends. You do not want to miss what is going on here in the major. Tweet the stream, share it to your friends. We'll see you right after the break. gentlemen welcome back to the major two finals brought to you by game fuel that man on your screen just cost me i had to beat had to beat myself those of you wondering what's going on there i've got a button i had to do it myself but there's simply no words to describe what the man just did on raid there unbelievable unbelievable kleenex That's right now chance you call it one of the best looking players in the world but there's no doubt about it maps and most so far bro 
Express and SST coming up next. Miles. Yeah, man. That is not a man. <laughs> that is a monster. That is a tissue. That is whatever. <laughs> a force of nature. But looking at the maps, I mean, it feels like a day and a half ago, maybe just an hour. We said at the very top of it, that Express s and and that Checkmate s and is not where FaZe wants to be towards the tail end of this series. They are one and three on Express compared to Toronto's one and one. So I think Toronto had a nice bounce back performance today. Even the Checkpoint Hardmate, or the Checkmate Hardpoint <laughs> sandwich in between as well. That Stats we had on the Moscow, RCDs, the, the saving grace, nine kills to his name, but I, I'm looking at everybody else. Like, RCDs needs to be the guy as well, but they have struggled on Express. I don't think we've caught too many glimpses of what? The, the Simp World Star Showcase, the Abizi no. First Bloods, no. the Selling Lock It Down. We haven't seen that yet. They've been getting battered on this map. And now they find themselves in a spot where, hey, it is the swing one of the entire grand finals. Phase. I mean, they're just looking to clutch up and see if the, the fifth time is the charm on Express. And for Toronto, I, I mean, they're not even getting overexcited, right? We're watching their reactions after winning the control in dominant fashion. And I mean, they're just hanging out. They are just enjoying themselves so far on Sunday. These guys have been playing COD for four or five hours now at this point. But <sighs> Looks like they just started. They are looking fresh. How long can they keep going? How many more maps can they pull from FaZe? That's the question, man. We go to Express now, and again, as you said, this is not a good pick for FaZe. This is not the one they wanted. So the lobby may have had another issue. You saw Cami leave for a moment there, but chance, I mean, again, when we look at the remainder of this series, what well, we have a checkmate hardpoint, or as you just called it, a checkpoint hardmate. That was my a highlight of the day. Mate? I yeah. love you so much, bro. That That's was amazing. Right. Check, checkmate hardpoint. Uh, coming up after the Express. So if, if Toronto if Toronto win the Express, then you go to a hard point. Puff scenes there again. They haven't won a single hard point. That's going to be a land of face. We're looking at a game nine here. We are truly, if, if everything works out the way it should do in the stats, we're looking at a game nine. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to throw in a quick commercial break. When we return, we're going to be going back into Express. s and don't go anywhere, friends. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. On the last episode of the Call of Duty League uh, Major 2 Final brought to you by Game Fuel, we saw Toronto Ultra and particularly Kleenex go absolutely buck wild on that raid control map. Now we roll into a search and destroy, but first let's celebrate the Great Dane by taking a look at firstly him and his uh, stats overall today. He's going what? 299 for 283. That's No, that's not the stats for the last match. That's overall today. Chance, Kleenex is on one. He's on one. And it, just for comparison, by the way, the 299 total kills, the next highest on his team is 260. So like everyone throughout the day in Toronto, they've been playing out of their minds, but 
he's just kicking up an extra notch. He is the man setting that pace. And again, I mean, we have a highlight real I assume, or at least he built one for himself on the rate control. There are just so many gunfights he is winning that it just seems impossible. A menace on the map, a force to be reckoned with. And well, at least going into the search and destroy, it is just an interesting moment for both teams. Breathing exercise of bound on the Toronto Ultra camp. And again, the amount of adrenaline and highs and lows that Toronto has had to deal with just today, their heart rates have to be all over the place. And for yeah. FaZe, I mean, they are just in the thick of it right now. Seventh map they've been able to play, battling with Toronto. And of course, if they have a one and three record on this map of Express, you know FaZe has been constantly going back to the drawing boards, try to work on those mistakes, but this is it. This is time to, to show up and prove that this map got through for a reason. Toronto's going to be on the attack, though, and it looks like a lot of players going towards A. That's a, a party at A, maybe. Let's find out who's going to be celebrating Phoenix. First in, that doesn't necessarily mean anything good. Simp's got the high ground. Hello! First present. Not a welcome one. Simp will be returning it. Back on up. This gives Kleenex the opportunity to move down low. Silently, I might add. No noise had to be made, but you have to assume that that player's coming through now. How many players, though, face don't quite know just yet. Simp, up and down he goes. He's not doing calf raises. He's just playing for information. Chance, this is so unbearably tense. There's 50 seconds remaining in Ultra. Looks like they're going to pull the bomb towards B. Probably on the call of Kami there. And this is almost mirrored as well, right? You have Simp wrapping back, but actually he doesn't wrap back towards B. It's just going to be selling here by himself. Oh he God. gets the first strike. There's the call. He sees everybody playing the power position, but the reinforcements Whoa. are in. But the flank from Kleenex, Vance and Insight win the gunfights. All of a sudden, 3v2, Simp and Ibizi, the tiny tears looking to clutch. Of all the people in the world, of all the Call of Duty names you'd love to have in this situation, those two would be it. But wait a minute. They haven't been able to finish the kill. Toronto now regroup. Abizi seemingly caught unaware. It falls to his counterpart, Simp. 35 seconds on the clock. Simp in a 1v3. Toronto with the round. Toronto with the round. Toronto with the call. The quick wrap back. And, I mean, a few opportunities for FaZe to make the play, right? Sell him. Had the power position. Had all the information. Couldn't quite find the second kill in Toronto. So quick on the swarm to the site. And Abizi... Similar sort of story, right? Small window of opportunity for him to find that opening kill, but can't quite connect and immediately gets pounced on and punished for it. Vance with a hell of a round. Again, I mean, maybe we talk about Kleenex too much. Maybe we need to give Vance more love. I don't know, but <laughs> he's been amazing. great start for him. He's been amazing all day. Like, again, we go from a, a player who everyone was screaming to be dropped to now finding themselves in the grand final and looking fine. Still, on the exchanges here, Atlanta phase with the early push forward. Control of that B-bomb site. Quick plan. No one really from Ultra in a position to contest, but Kami, he's got an angle from the stairwell. He threw his Semtex. No, he didn't actually. So, full utility to work with here. Two players to phase down at the very bottom of the terminal. Two of them sort of in the wings, and whoever hits first better hit bloody hard, because this is going to be one hell of a retake. Look at the formation phase we've got there. Busy with the first blood. Out of Sim. Trying to soften up Bance. A nice shot, but it's not enough to stop Benjamin Bantz. He finds the kill. Kami finds one as well. Kami gets his second. And just oh, like that, dear. Atlanta phase oh crumble. It's another round to Ultra. In phase, I mean, almost just did everything right. You get the 4v4 bomb down. 15 seconds go by. They even get the first blood, but the methodical swarm was there. You trap him in. You double hit through mid. One player apiece gets the alleys. And here's the play of the game to see just why. Beams from Cami, the teamwork there with Kleenex, and well, these final two players just trapped in and just gunfights just go in the way of Toronto. They have been on point. Two rounds in a row is, well, maybe the express rows for, for FaZe stay in existence. Obviously very early in the game, but Toronto so far have taken them to task. Last time it was an A hit early on that eventually they got the wrap back and looks like at least the start of it might be similar. You had Simp and Ibizi playing together, and they're mixing it up just a little bit. Instead of playing up in top maps, they're going to be playing the trains, and the noise is here. They know the deal. Plenty of noise here. Crashing of cymbals, the breaking of glass, you name it. It is going on by the A site. Guns are up now for phase. Slow approach. Covering every corner. Not willing to give that first blood away. You've seen how detrimental it can be for them. Simp playing for information. Full throwing. 
Shoulders all around the place, doing a shimmy. Slender hips. Vance, though, he peeked out. He didn't see anything. Is this a B hit? Again? It might just be. FaZe have stayed here long enough. They're now making their way forward. Cammy's going to hold center train. Hello. We can easy kill for Cammy. That's first blood. Just the level of patience Toronto are bringing to the plate right now. I mean, we saw shades of this on Moscow. It is less <gasps> than like 30 seconds on the clock before they start going for the bomb. The flag jacket will be the protector. Bomb planted if Vance gets Ooh. out. Four spree for him, and you got the four versus three. Stays alive. Insight's watching the flank. There's Selium in the middle of the tracks. He must does just about manage to cross over. And great spot to be in from Selium. What a kill. Kleenex goes down. Cammy answers back. Less than 30 seconds remaining now. And Sim, oh, we can barely make it into the caboose. Arsides is going to be on the bomb. He finds one. Arsides can't take care of business himself. Toronto, three straight rounds. The momentum keeps swinging. And it's all aboard the Ultra Express. Man, their position in trance, everything is working out right now. I, they're just countering face so well, even just for the first blood. They, it, it's another one of those rounds we saw similar in Moscow where they make that initial noise. They do nothing for the next 15, 20 seconds. And for FaZe, they're like, I don't know if they're still here. I don't know if we need to wrap back, but they're probably having this conversation. Selling's calling out. Well, no, they haven't come to be at what's going on. And eventually someone makes the small mistake. A BZ falls into the trap and the first blood king gets dropped. And well, on this round, maybe he's looking for the aggression try to make a play or hey maybe just get the bomb down once again last time though they got swarmed this oh time they get swarmed dance for the first blood this time toronto gets to try it with the man advantage the man advantage for now selium versus insight insight what an angle that is abizi just manages to take the top of the head off abizi and Asti's finding the kills now abizi making his way forward towards the bomb site but it's benjamin bance it's benjamin bance he slides the cross up on arsites and that's going to be the 2v1 complete bance gets it done bance gets the defuse Oh, boy, Chance, it's four in a row. Four in a row. There have been conversations about the most improved player from stage one to stage two. I'm sitting here in the finals after seeing comments about Bance needing the player to get, to get dropped. And instead, he's in the finals against FaZe, piecing every map, 8-0 with streaks to give his team that 4 to nothing lead. FaZe, I mean... I can't even imagine what's going through their heads, right? I don't even know if they would be expecting for Express to be played in this series at all with how late it's been in the map pool. Whew. They've had no success on this map so far. Now they know they have to deal with the crews and the artillery, and more importantly, just deal with Bants in general. You don't even need the streaks when you're shooting like this, but Toronto, they've just been, I mean, completely picking them apart, countering them. They've had their number, but Abizi may be trying to make something happen, right? He might have found an opening potentially for flanks as, once again, you do have at least a, an early A look for Toronto. It cast my mind back to like that raid we saw, the fastest raid control in history where Ultra decimated by FaZe. Bans got crossed up in Kitchen and basically put his controller down. How far he has come since that moment. Insight on the flank, eyes are on. Watch out for the cross. Perfect awareness, absolutely perfect awareness. Cruz is out, gonna cover insight from up high, but he doesn't really need it. Where's this gonna go, I wonder? Oh my, I bet Nsim probably saw it land, but he's counting his nine lives after that one. That cat could be well and truly dead. We're gonna throw the artillery in this one as well, says Benjamin Bantz. 30 seconds-ish now remaining to get the bomb down. I think Asti saw that. Here we go, Chance, A plant. 4v3, Sim goes forward, stops the plant. Should be able to get one more out of this, maybe. In this situation, he's in a great spot. I mean, Toronto's got to go. They're just simply running out of time. Time is falling off the clock, and now they're getting flanked. This might be the collapse of a round. Fans, though, the moves. That's nine for him. And no one's there. They're going to get this bomb down for the two versus two. Oh and he God. got Kami pushed out, leaving Selium by himself. Can't even catch Bans. He gets the shot. Man, Manages to make it a 1v1. Selium still fighting for this one. This is for five in a row for Ultra. This is to stop the bleeding for FaZe. Here comes the artillery. They've learned the mistakes from Moscow. Ordnance goes in. Dell might have been hit there. Jumps straight back onto the bomb. Is Bance going to check it? It's 20 seconds to get this one done. Is he going to check it? Is he going to check the bomb? He's got to go. He's got to go now. The shots are there. Ultra get the round. It's five in a row. And it's Benjamin Bance still leading the charge. Oh, my dear God. Cammy tried to troll it away. But, hey, he got the hero kill right here to protect Bance. And if Bance is alive, he cannot be stopped. 
I mean, that is the most deja vu, picture perfect artillery on the bomb cell trying to make the exact same play. And I tell you, he got close, but Bantz taking no prisoners, 10 0, literal perfection of the game in the grand finals. And well, they might have hard countered over towards B on defense, and nobody's home, but look what he's still sitting on. He's got that cruise missile geared up and ready to go. I mean, <laughs> this map, here we go, cruises out. Oh, zip, run, brother, run. You know, it's coming. Quick curve now with the cruise, and you know it's going to land top maps. Doesn't manage to get a kill, but again, a lot of damage done. And BZ making his way forward now. Three tags, not enough to get a kill, but Insight takes care of Sim. A pressure now mounting as Ultra drive forward. Ultra find another kill. The bomb recovered, but Cami shots are there, murdering their way through Atlanta phase. Celium, the last player left alive. I tell you what, it may be Express, but right now, Toronto Ultra are making phase look like zombies. It's more like train to Busan. 6-0, another massive win. And with that, Atlanta phase crumble on Express. Toronto Ultra are at tournament point. One of my favorite parts about that game is the player cam reactions. Toronto, the exact same thing they have had all day long. They know the job is not done. No overhype, no craziness for them. Fist bumps the whole way around. I mean, hey, that was a good map. We got one more to go. One of the single best performances we have seen all year long. Bantz, the man on the mission. And one of my favorite things, he mutes his mic when he drinks out of his thing. A gentleman. What a great teammate and what a great game. And dude, he goes 10 and 0 with the damage and kills across the board. I mean, that is a six all on Express. That is perfection. That is Toronto. All the momentum right now in this series. Unbelievable. The momentum carrying across from the raid. They don't drop a round in the raid. They don't drop a round on Express. This is where you have to expect, even with all the momentum in the world, Atlanta phase, do they have the mental acuity, the resolve to not let this next hard point get away from them? We're going back to checkmate. We go to another hard point. This is their bread and butter. This is their wheelhouse. This is it for phase. Pull it back now, force the game nine, or lose major two to the fairy tale that truly is Toronto Ultra right now. Look at the stats. Unbelievable. We'll see some happy ultra before we throw to a break. But chance, the collective Call of Duty world is certainly surprised right now. And I would imagine Toronto Ultra fan base is just, uh, you know, the stonks have gone up, my friend. And here we have a look at those players last few moments. And it is business as per usual for Toronto Ultra. Right. Time for a quick break. When we return, we go to another hard point. Tournament point now for Toronto Ultra. Last chance for Atlanta Phase to force the match nine. We'll see you after the break. The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. 
Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League Major 2 Finals. Brought to you by Game Fuel. Quick look at the Pickums once again. Now, 0.2%, that overall tells us one thing, that nine people, that is nine human beings, thought that Toronto Ultra would make it this far. Nine people. Chance, how many people are, are there in the Toronto Ultra like management, including like the people on the board, the players, the socials, the, 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 the coaches, everything. There is more than nine people. Not even Toronto's own people were backing them in this final. And look at them now. Tournament points. I do. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Imbance is meditating. Uh, the nine may be geniuses, but the 52% the of the league, well, that's where I was a part of. Miles, to be completely honest with you and the fans, when we were talking about this series last night, <laughs> we didn't know which team was going to face up against FaZe. I thought Toronto would have the worst possible chance against the team, and, well, here we are. They have the edge there one map away, and for Cammy, well, we've been talking about him quite a bit. Mr. McMilligan has been playing out of his mind. Those stats do include this match, and I would say maybe on the flip side, maybe the hope right now is that .94 KD for the hard points. Well, the only two, or not the only two maps, sorry, they've won three, but the two maps where FaZe have looked the best on have been the hard points, so... I mean, if Cammy picks it up for this one, maybe Ultra would be good to go, get crowned champions and call it a, a nice day at the office. Maybe for FaZe, they're gonna see this hard point as an opportunity, but even still, the checkmates to end it all. Neither one of these teams wants to get checkmated. Checkmate. You may be saying that in a brief moment, whether it's here on the hard point or in the S&D, because whatever happens on these maps, someone wins. Hard point be the victory for Ultra. We have to get it to the search and destroy for FaZe. And this chance, momentum, momentum, momentum. Ultra have not stopped driving. They have gone from strength to strength. FaZe have been caught unaware. The hard points though have been their victories. They have not fallen in the hard points. They have continued the dominance in this lane department. For Ultra to do it here and now, Collectively, our minds blown. Except for those nine people. Honestly, those nine people, if you're there now, can you just tweet me so I know who you are, you geniuses? Miles, keep in mind, for this map, Checkmate Hardpoint, I think the last two times we've seen Toronto play, two times ago it was what? Kleenex maybe challenging the P1 at the end of the game, giving up the time, dropping the ball in the final moments. What we saw from them earlier today, dropping the ball in the final moments. They have been so close on this map so many times against so many different teams, but it has been a problem for them. But right there off the opening break, one of the best starts they could ask for. Cammy on a three right now, make it a four. There's a fifth around the corner, and that's why he's your Game Fuel featured player. He's an absolute unit. Finds those kills. A lot of map presence for his team, but like no one's really holding the hard point. Like Bans, they're really playing for that second hard point. They're really playing for those right-hand side spawns and chance. That's one thing that we've seen on this map countless times now. I think it's like four times throughout this major. This first point, the transition to the second, that has been the game winner or loser for their respective teams. And the importance of that, you see an ultra already making the adaptation, but back to good old faithful. Contest central here in the central plane. Rotation's on the way and it looks like FaZe have got it in hand. Just a respectable first hill, really, from both teams. And, well, you actually have Vance. He's just playing aggressive, trying to make the plays. He finds the opening. Simto inside the Ooh. actual hill can find at least one player, but at least the break for the moment is through. Vance knows what the deal is, though. He needs to stay alive. RCD's playing no games, takes care of business, and that is the first push taken care of. Atlanta phase holding strong. Still holding the line again, not a massive lead for now, but if they can take on another wave of kills, the Toronto throw it. Oh, hello. It's the head of, it, of Selium gone. Nice shots from inside. And hold on. Should see the lead climb up. Phoenix, though. Continuing his incredible oh, Bans, run. Bance, by the way. Hello. Hello, Bance. Oh, he kills him with oh an aid. A beast That's how in he's the getting kills this map. I think he just got gifted the spawn for the two piece. Maybe he doesn't put a massive wrench in the game, but hey, take a bit of time off the clock. You'll certainly be happy for it. Cammy, well, nothing going to be cooking there, but maybe just a, a small little moment, a few extra points. Ultra able to get, but either way, P2 for FaZe, for the most part, completely locked it down. Yeah, they've got a great amount of time with that. 51 to 22 now as we go into the next quick look at the kills above. You can see Insight having a bit of a slow one, trying to pull that one back, but it has been Cell and a beat 7 and 4, 7 and 6 respectively, and it's going to be Cell on the 2 spree right now. He's the guy going big. For Atlanta phase. Ultra though with a decent bit of control now towards third. Over to Kami. 
Spitfire comes through. Arsky just about cleans him up. Ooh, Selium gets the kill as well. So that's an open hard point for now. No points for anyone until you can get a player in that circle. And neither team able to manage or control anything for the moment. Maybe with that clearance, Serrano able to get a, a decent chunk of time. Faye's not playing super aggressive necessarily to get these guys out of the point. You see eight streak control. Well, inside is there. He gets cut down and Kleenex wins a, a disgusting one from underneath the plane. And more importantly, Toronto, they flip the spawns. They get a decent chunk of time on the end. It's going to be nearly a tied game going into new. And Toronto, at least they have that control early on. But obviously for the moment, back and forth game. Back and forth indeed. It's be a great time now as we see the lead start to change hands. Someone wants to go for a quick Astro Gaming listen in. Toronto Ultra. Oh, right, right wing. No, no, no. Where's he going? Under right, under right, under right. Busy, busy right wing, and nothing, I don't you know. see anything midpoint. Are you going to stun yeah. me? Yeah. Just slow down, bad. Make a push, yeah. make a push, bad. I don't I'm see a busy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Totally in cabin, in cabin, in cabin. I'm trying to play for him. One more, one more, I hit him. Top left, two top left, two top left. Top left, 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 top He's walked up now. Hey, time. He's close close time. I don't see a BT, bro. Dead. 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 One shot back, hit pillar. One, one back right. Cell, slip. Well, he's probably top plane as well, bro. Dead, one's, back, nice. one's back, one's back, one's back tower. One yeah, is 100% yeah, back tower. Yeah, top tower, top tower. I see. He's coming. Really, 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 one really shot, shot back, deep. man. One fucking shot back. Right, no one comes. Two, 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 two comes, two comes, two comes. Someone needs to clear plane for me, bro. Where's he? Top tail. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Doing that. Go right. Yeah, they're they're back there, nice, two dead. We can probably hit front. Back there, back there, back there. Yes, yes, yes. Only one on time then. Let's go, let's go. Decent composure chance from a squad that's staring down a tournament victory if they can pull this map away. But I mean, did you think it was it was what you expected out of comms from Toronto with this situation? I mean, I would say almost unbelievably calm. Just like, I mean, their heads are in the game, right? Insights getting the call outs. Hey, just stay alive in the back. But even if the comms are calm and good and clean, you had on that hill basically a full 60 phase. Did all the hard work, snuffed out all the gunfights, made sure Insight doesn't cause problems. But even towards the final moments, this is not bad time for Toronto to try to chip away from the opponent. From the top rope comes Kleenex, but this is really just all the setups new. First ro set of rotations done and through. About a 30 point lead right now for FaZe, but for Toronto, they're right now spawning on the right side of the map. This is where they want to be, and they have playing control. Beasy, first one in, and well, wow. he goes by himself. Zero support, zero teamwork. Clean four down in Toronto. Well, they get a set up and do it all again. I wonder how much damage they can do to the members of FaZe before they get close to the point. Here come the shots. Kleenex on the cut. Oh man, there's one. Insight's going to find the other one. There's Kleenex on a five spree. And FaZe. It's getting a bit sore right now as the lead will change hands for the time being. See if they can make the break here. Hands up first. Faze with the shots, but it's going to be insight. Quick trades. BZ goes down. Simp with the immediate trade back. And it's a good break, but it's not over just yet. Oh, Cell wins the last kill. Keeps the hard point open. And again, that is what we mean by trades. Back and forth. Both of these teams. Faze finally get themselves onto the point. A few moments to contest. Grab a couple of seconds for consolidation before they push on towards second disappearing at the top right hand side of the screen. Kleenex was a massive kill. Now chance, we've got Ultra in the driving seat. By the way, being calm is key. Cammy did a nice job just holding his spawn. He timed it perfectly to make sure he doesn't spawn out. And well, spawns in, gets a kill or two. Defensive side, it looks like Insight gonna get hunted down, but Abizi, he's by himself. He knows the situation. He needs to make a play and look for some kills. There's a second on the life, and that's the clearance that his team needs. Now FaZe inside the point, and they're doing it from the front. Insight's nade usage is absolutely incredible, by the way. All map long, all series long, we've seen him pick up fantastic kills of those Semtexes. Sim now from the back line. This is a solid spot to be in. We can test. Out he goes. Moving on point. How many, men well, how many members can he take? He can't take any by the looks of things. Vance finds the kill. Oh my word. Toronto back into the lead for the time being. Abiz, he drops the cami. Oh, with that, you have to chalk it up. FaZe's got to look towards the next hard point. They were hoping to deal some damage there. If they win those individual fights, Bance is cheating. OMG. We get a task manager check on the wall bang there. Very, very clean. A little too perfect, if you ask me. Unreal. The chance rotation down should be phased now, holding third. Let's see how long they can hold it for. Bance has genuinely been unreal. By the way, the streaks maybe not hyper impactful on this map, but they're certainly nice to have, and Bance is going to be thinking about it. 
down low inside the actual point. A couple kills getting traded back and forth and sent. Maybe taking these players down before they can get near the point, but the pistol can't get the job done. And if I remember correctly, yeah, Bance is still looking for a kill. He's been on the five spree for quite some time. There's number six. One more, and he gets the job done, at least for the streak. I was not to challenge that position, guaranteed a player to be there, but Selium, will he check behind the back row? Oh, Sel, massive win, stops the streaks. Still have Ultra in the hard point. 20 seconds remaining, they should be able to get a little bit more of this one, but Insight, eyes on next. Big read, but Asti's so strong. Trades once again, teamwork on point right now. For Toronto Ultra, Canny was a massive one. Kleenex at range, 21 and 19 overall. The man is playing some of the finest COD we've ever seen come out of the hands of the Great Dane. Over towards Simp, he cuts him down. Again, looking towards hard point time. Ultra, continue to lock it down. No contest just yet. The phase just on the outside of the point. Looking to find these kills and get in. And keep in mind for Ultra, this is the same kind of spot they were in last time, right? Getting all the kills, making sure phase is spawning out on the right side of the map. But eventually they got broken in lost spawns for new. And that's where phase started to run away with the game. This time though, it's Ultra running up the score. Abizi trying to make plays down low. And well, finds at least the kill on Cami. His teammates though, just falling by the hands of Benjamin Bance and the ARs reign supreme. Ultra with another clean set of kills and sim falls as well. Phase can't get spawns, can't get the hard point time, can't find a kill and can't stop Bance. Ultra, the largest lead they've had all game a long. Massive lead now, 15 seconds. They could potentially get all of it. Should Bance be able to stop this player? It's gonna be Simp on the contest. And he does just that. He's laying prone. It seems basic, it seems the fundamentals, but it's just perfect right now. Ultra, still holding on to the point. Asti's trying to get the last minute contest. The rotation's already gone down and Ultra have got it. And Ultra can win the tournament right here. Phase have got to break chance. It's 25 seconds for the win. One of the easiest games in the hill to hold, and they have to do it for the championship. Insight right now just needs to stay alive. His teammates have the coverage that he needs. A busy though, looking for the intro, and he goes as fast as he can. Can't find the kill. Insight still alive. It's 10 seconds for the win now. This is it. Ultra holding it down. They've got five seconds for the win. Simp's going to contest. He's going to get cut to pieces. And what do you know? The greatest underdog going into the tournament. They take the best team in the league the whole way, and they get the job done. Not only do they do it on a respawn, they truly are ultra as <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe what we have seen today. Toronto Ultra have just taken the major from Atlanta phase. They go the distance, they slaughter them in some of these game modes, Chance. This has been a clinic. FaZe are shocked. You have to give it to Ultra. They went all the way. They are mind blown at what we have seen, and we are as well. Ladies and gentlemen, your major two champions, Toronto Ultra. What? The stuff of legends. Uh, the very first time we saw Bans close his eyes, take a deep sleep and meditate before the match. Ever since then, he went from being an average player to a god like player. They get it done on checkmate. They celebrate, they got the confetti. Formation intact. Ultra, 0.2% of the fans thought they had it in them. 99.8% of the fans would be wrong. Ultra smacking teams around in all game modes across the board. Elite level performance, major two to the Canadians. And what an upset this is in the, in the grand scheme of the Call of Duty League. We all expected Ultra to go and seemingly undefeated this whole year long. But the major falls to one of the most unlikely teams. Ultra, pull it out. Here in our final moments, they didn't have to go to a search and destroy, they managed to do it. Bans can't believe it. He's literally, it's like unbelievable. You're tweeting it out right now, man. I mean, we'd all be tweeting it out. This is ridiculous, but congratulations to them. This is what it looked like in the moments where Ultra pulled away the win. All of that breathing, all of that calm. Get ready for the explosion. There you champions. Toronto Ultra, get it done. And an emphatic display, and rightfully so. What a hard fought day, a legendary day of Call of Duty they have just played. I mean, three series back to back, they gotta beat the Empire of Minnesota that had the hot hand in phase, who looked damn near untouchable. They get the job done, and they look something fierce. Cammy played out of his mind. Bance, again, you cannot say enough positive things. And for Marky e. B, 
genius as a coach, by the way, to bring insight to the team. He reunites with Kleenex, and so happy together they are. Their first major plan together since, what, Cod Champs from two or three years ago. Come out for their first one, get the job done, and it seems like every single respawn we have when we look at the scoreboard, it is Kleenex. Just ridiculous stats, ridiculous level of production, but the teamwork on point. The adjustments have been made, and holy hell, we had the graphic prepared. We knew all along <laughs> Toronto Ultraman got the job done in Major 2, shocking the Call of Duty world. Nine people thought it possible, and in the end, you were right. All of us believed otherwise. All of us backed the wrong team, but for those nine people, you should be patting yourselves on the back right now. Ultra get it done. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked. I'm beyond happy for them again. But for for phase chance, like they came into this the under the absolute favorites, like unquestionably the favorites coming into this tournament. They're still the favorites, probably going in the next one as well. Like just the way they played. But it was a, it was a just like bad search and destroy. Not what we expected. The control game, the one that we were banking on them to never drop, they lost. Ultra managed to pull it out from them. Like what the first one was a three two, and then we go to raid, and it was just a bloodbath. And then in the respawn there, the true and utter collapse, the momentum after that control loss, Ultra did not slow down. All aboard the Ultra Express, destination first place. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm beyond, I've got no words. What an unbelievable day. I'm not even sure what happens next. Then we're going to throw to an interview. But I do want to say before we throw to that interview, um, I'm not sure what production has planned, but... This has been an unbelievable week of Call of Duty. A, a, a truly unbelievable. This whole stage has been ridiculous. I do want to give a very, very heartfelt thanks to everyone who, who gets this done behind the scenes. There's about 50 people that put this show together. We love all of you. This has been a crazy week. The show we just put on has been nuts. We hope you, the fans, have enjoyed it. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears goes into bringing this, you know, from our homes, from our bedrooms. And it's been one hell of a ride. And we just hope you love it as much as we do. And the same for all these players as well. But let's now quick throw to a scuff player of the game. We're going to give it to Bance, dude. We're going to give it to him. He has just had one of the most unbelievable days of Call of Duty chance. Like, it's, this is a highlight reel of Benjamin Bance, who, from, like, the, the fans wishing him to be dropped from the roster and bringing on a more, you know, adept player or whatever, to literally stealing the show today. I mean, Miles, I'm thinking about just a few weeks ago when Toronto matched up against in like the, the regular season of stage two against FaZe. I mean, by the end of it, Bance was literally putting his controller down in defeat because of how bad FaZe was beating them. I mean, 3-0 and against Toronto. Toronto literally just giving up. It, it seemed like at times the mental fortitude they just had to show, to show up on Sunday. Just to get to the grand finals was impressive in and of itself. But taking down the boogeymen, the guys that have had their number in Bance, I mean, you got to imagine the guy could not be happier. Phenomenal performance. One of the best S&D performances we have maybe ever seen in Call of Duty history. Gets the job done. Perfection on Express. Incredible series through and through for Toronto. And again, just the bounce back they have had to have for the past few weeks. Ridiculous stuff. But obviously, the stuff of champions. That's that. Thank you from everyone here in the Call of Duty League. We're going to throw to a quick commercial break. I believe Jess is talking to Kleenex. We cannot wait to do this with you all in person from everyone here. We love you. We love you. <laughs> what a finals that was. <laughs> Insight's pretty pumped. But it will be Jess talking with Kleenex for our Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. We'll see you after the break.
We are here for your final Game Fuel victory spotlight of the major. We have Kleenex. The tissue was an issue after all. I mean, what a series is really all I can say. I mean, you've been sitting here with this heck of a loser's bracket run, playing Call of Duty all day long. How did it feel to build that momentum throughout the day and then just see it all pay off like that? I mean, it feels really, really good, obviously. I mean, um, I feel like we deserve that win on top of um, the last few weeks. It's been it's been pretty tough uh, with some of the losses we've had, but I feel like we did pretty well against the two uh, the two teams we played previously in the day, um, built the momentum going in there. And um, some of the respawns were really close, and we just ended up closing out. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you fought really hard, and, and as you mentioned, you've been through some, some ups and some downs. There have been some struggles. So that said, what's the biggest lesson that you've learned throughout this stage? Um, I'd say composure. Um, even through the first stage, we had a few matches we definitely should have closed out. So it's been what we've been working for, um, working on the last few, like last few months. Um, like even our S&D had shown um, most of our round 11s go our way now, um, which feels good. So that's definitely the big, biggest lesson to just slow down when you're in those moments and um, just end the game. We've definitely heard, you know, a little yeah, bit you know. of that from from Bance yeah. as well. So. Uh, you know, finally, there have been a lot of people who have been doubting the Ultra along the way. Do you have anything that you'd like to say now that you've proven them wrong? Honestly, I feel like our team thrives as an underdog, so people not expecting much from us just makes us play better. It makes us more hungry to prove people wrong, and that's that's what we ended up doing. So we'll keep doing that, and people keep doubting us, then we'll keep proving them wrong. Ah, they keep doubting you. are going to keep proving them wrong. I love that. Uh, well, Kleenex, thank you so much. GG's. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, uh, we heard from Kleenex. What an amazing series. What a great interview with him. But don't go anywhere. You do not want to miss this. Next, Lottie is going to be bringing you the player of the stage. Don't go anywhere.